Are you... Get straw. <laughs> That's what we're gonna get on the entire show. Straw noises. Yes, and slurping. Slurping and straw noises. It, it, this I, this is what I imagine Ted's house is like. Just slurping, <laughs> slurping, and straw what? noises. What? No, it's, that's just what I imagine his house being. All curly it's straws. It's like Willy Wonka and the yeah, chocolate curly factory. straws. Exactly. Oh, speaking of curly straws, um, Jackson and his girlfriend watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space last night. Oh, I love that movie. Oh, that's funny. You know what I forgot? How awesome. Yeah. Like, it was bad, but how awesomely bad it was. Yeah, it's 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 a cult film. I mean, huge. It, it came out like in, what, 88? Yeah, I, I got to be honest with you. As as poorly acted as it was and everything, it was fun to watch. I think oh. it was meant to be like that. Though. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Because he asked, he actually. But aren't, asked the, me, aren't the um the, the like the costumes and stuff are amazing? They're, they're, the clowns are it's amazing. amazing. Yeah, but Jack actually said he goes, "Is this supposed to be like yeah, yeah. funny bad?" And I'm like, "Yes, yeah, it's supposed <laughs> yes. to be it's yeah. supposed to be funny bad." Because there was a lot of really campy, like silly kind of horror movies that were around yeah. then. Uh, there was a ton then. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like now it's just it's all just like cut you in half and be in like super gross. Like yeah. the, they they took some of the fun out of it. Yeah, yeah, and that's I, more gory than way like more thriller. Gory. Yeah, like I did not realize there's a, a purge movie called Forever Purge. <laughs> no, I've never seen any of them, but I'm assuming this one just goes on forever. Like it doesn't stop. <laughs> Is that a one day? Like what, when they did a one day twenty four hour oh, purge? Oh yeah. At, at what point? I remember that. At, one. at what point did the people who don't follow the rules stop? From 24 hours. Like, I've never seen it. But well, what made people just stop? Because if I'm a criminal, if I'm a career criminal, I've got 24 hours, and they go, they go, uh, hey, Maddie, Maddie, 24 hours over. I'm going, mm, yeah, you know what? Well, the, Fuck yeah, it. you're right, because they're not following the rules to begin with. Right. Well, I think it applies to more of the, like, the law-abiding citizens. It kind of gives them the green light to basically execute some rivals. Yes. But what makes That's- me stop? If, let, let's say I'm law abiding. It's, it's not about you. But no, let's say I'm a law abiding. <laughs> what? Are you sure, Dad? <laughs> yeah. Let's say. Well, I, actually, it is about you. Yeah. Let's yeah, say I'm a law abiding. Yeah, well, that's who it's addressed to. Right. But but let's just say I don't want to stop. Okay. Let's just say why why like 24 hours. I was like, you know what? This is fucking great. I'm just gonna do it for one more day. So you get a 24 hour extension. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, but and then all. Well, the I think people, then you get arrested. You have to sign a but waiver. What about all the rule breakers and the, the the other criminals who are just like, why would they stop? Like, I get why I would stop, right? Because I kind right. of follow rules. Right. Well, kind there's of. consequences. Kind of. But but there's no. But at that point, if everyone's just going crazy, what makes everyone stop going? I've never seen the movie. Well, I you, saw the movie. Why don't you just do what this? Makes them stop going crazy. They they just follow the rules. <laughs> this they're, is they're they stupid. Do. There's a big so air there's a rule. A rule you can kill anybody, do anything you want. Yeah. Then the other part of the rule is yes. you have to stop. Yes. So everybody like hides in their in their um, houses. Yeah. They barricade. Yeah. Things. They have like hurricane shutters. They have yeah. like hurricane shutters. Yep. It's almost like the zombie apocalypse because they know it. Like a big air horn goes up. Goes. Yes. And that's like the start of the purge. And so you know it's coming. Yes. And so you basically, people have the storm shutters on their house and just lock down everything, go into a panic room. And... Is Costco still open? <laughs> I wouldn't go Because I part. would imagine that's what Costco is without the killing. <laughs> right? That's what it is. Yeah. So I imagine the film is like that, I should say. Dude, it was. I was at Costco last week, and there's long lines. It's not a big deal. It goes really fast, right? And, and wait, 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 before you get to the lines, what about the parking lot? The parking lot's crazy. It's a right. shit show. They it's had, sh- they had to is. buy another acre next door for... For additional parking, for, yeah, yeah, but insane. but so so they're in a line, right? And and there's a woman and, and and her daughter, and she's got like three things, right? So she goes to the lady in front of me. I'm at the back of the line. She the goes ginormous to, shopping cart, right? And she goes to the lady in front of her, in front of me, and she goes, she goes, you know what? I is there any way that I could just you know jump in right here and get out? And the greatest response I've ever heard. Not on your life, sister. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you said? No, nope, that's what you she said. said. That. No, no. She goes, not in your life, sister. See, I know you said that because you wow. say that all the time. When I have ever said that? <laughs> so, I'm kidding. Yeah. So so immediately, I, I, I go to the lady. I go, I go, I go here. I go, I go, not go on your life. Yeah. Was it a nun? Was she a nun? No. She was, so it didn't make she any just sense. Like, she just seemed like a, she, she had a lot of toilet paper. A lot of toilet paper. The oh, oh they, the, this people, was yeah. right before the doc. Strike. No, no, just, yeah, doc worker, no. doc worker strike. Yeah. Yep. No, I don't know. She just. And we don't import any to- toilet paper in this country, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you can't. It's you all can't made here. All made here. It's yeah. all one hundred percent. But somehow it was going to affect the doc worker strike. It was going to. That's how stupid people are. Yeah. I thought it was. Y- I thought it was Y two K. Well, yeah. I mean, as soon as they scare you, right? The, yeah. That's the that's the thing they want to do. They want to scare you about something like like the doc workers. You're never going to get anything. You you're gonna you're gonna die of starvation in two days. In two days from today. <laughs> Your life is a perch. It's forever perch. So I know we, we talked about Costco on the show several times, but 
do you wonder, and I, I mentioned this, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I know I said it before, but when you get in that parking lot, say at like 2 in the afternoon or 1 in the afternoon, do you wonder, like, does anybody fucking work? What is going on? Why are is there not a parking it's spot on a Wednesday time. with just massive amounts of people? Wait, the, the, my thing is the husband, the wife, and the two kids, they're on a school day. I, that's right? the same thing. And they're, they're, they're school-age kids, yes. right? So, so it's like, say, 11 o'clock. It's a school day. Yes. It's a mom and a dad yeah. who I assume you got to work to have kids. They got three kids with them, all school age kids. And I was like, is, are you taking a day off of work to go to Costco? You're I, not taking a day off work to go to Costco. They probably work from home and the kids are homeschooled. See, I will uh, tell you. Or this. else they're kidnapping victims. I will so tell you this. <laughs> <laughs> Kidnap them and take them to Costco? When well, places, you got to put up a good front. When yeah. places like <laughs> Sam's Club and Costco came around like, like 25 years ago, like Costco came into the city like 25 years ago, I think, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, around 98, 2000, when Costco came in, I remember, cause I had like, I worked, I had like kind of a loose schedule for work so I could peel away for an hour. And I remember avoiding to going to Costco on a Saturday or Sunday. Oh yeah. So I would go there like Wednesday at two in the afternoon, get my stuff, get out of there, go back to work. And there's nobody in there. Now you can't do that anymore. It doesn't exist. Like there is no slow time at Costco. So, I think that's just the one by us. I don't think they're all. You might be right because I went to the one up in Bannockburn or whatever, and it was like a whole different world. Well, so there's two by me. The one uh, you have two Costco's by you. Yeah, the one is insane. Just like you're talking about, like it, it's impossible to move around. There's usually families of like six or eight, like spread across the whole entire aisle, just pointing at stuff, right? Yeah, yeah slowly, just pointing. really, really slowly. Yeah. But then the new one that went in, it's been there for a few years now. It's it's manageable. I I don't know why. But so I mean I, that one's closer to me, so I'm, I'm happy to, with that. I've been to Costco out of state in like a smaller town in Michigan, and it was yeah, it wasn't cra- it wasn't insane. And then there's actually one in uh, North Lake off of North Avenue <laughs> near Triton College. I was there, and they have the gas pumps there. It was like it's you know it was, obviously they're all built the same. I'm assuming yeah, it was like crowded, but not like insanely crowded. So I don't know, but yeah, but the one here in Niles is usually yeah. a zoo. So you know, yep. like Walmart, you know, like, like any other you know place where you're gonna get some deals. So all right, so Mark's gonna get mad. Uh oh, but. We we have we have a little bit of I just son have, of a I just have a, a little bit of stuff. Is he like the Hulk? Because because <laughs> things things pop you don't up. Get him mad. <laughs> and and you realize in a in a month from now, all, all the election stuff's gonna be over, right? And it'll be two outcomes. Not for this show. Yeah, we're, no, <laughs> no, no, you running it? Well, no, no, no. It's done. It's done. I mean, the two outcomes, right? One, basically, we, we won't ever hear from Donald Trump again. Or or two, it'll be the. The craziest four years of our lives. Well, and te- like Ted said, though, but the next cycle will start next in December, right? <laughs> It'll start. They'll start talking about the nominee yeah, for, for 2028. <laughs> yeah, no, no. They got, in, they in got to give us at least a couple. They got no. to give us a couple. Maybe of like weeks. a week. Maybe a week. Yeah. Oh, they, by the way, Donald Trump did talk about a purge. One of his rallies. I'm not making it up. Yes, he, he did. About no, the no, purge. Ted's not lying. I actually was going to bring that up, but I didn't want to talk. Politics. I didn't want to. I didn't want to ruin your thoughts. He did mention that exact word as an idea to throw out there. Just one day. Just one day. Not a. So not, he literally said we should do a one day purge. Yeah, it's just like a dictator. Well, he he's going to be a dictator for just one day. It's just no, one day. Well, he said on day one I <laughs> will be a dictator, day. but then that's it. And then he mentioned another. But he said that more, I didn't. More I didn't. Day two. But he day mentioned one purge. Dictator. Day two purge. <laughs> day three tariffs. That's it. <laughs> Done. And then whatever cats and dogs are left, there anybody can eat them. And no, <laughs> anybody. Well, I mean, if you're going to kill the people, you're going to leave the you know all those fantastic. Delicious dogs and cats. Yes. Well, he was talking about like oh. an immigrant purge, which would made it even worse. He's married to an immigrant, so well, yeah. So does JD Vance. Mm-hmm. So is JD Vance. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I think. But he, he, but, he, but in JD Vance's words, he loves her anyway. <laughs> those were <laughs> anyway. his words. He said those exact words. But I I know whatever she, she's from, wherever she's from. But he said this. But I love her anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I, think, I was like I was like that's kind of when she woke up when she woke up the next day and she that's she's just like uh, JD could you. Come on in here for just a second. Come on in here for a second. M- motherfucker, did you, yeah. did you say anyway? Did you say anyway at the end of this? Oh, yeah. You, you know what else he yeah, said? I guess Ted, he's not getting laid. Ted, Ted, remember Ever. we were talking about this? He said he had, a, he, had, he had a beach body. Trump said that he had a beach body. Oh, so he's making fun <clears> of Biden. And, yeah. and, and, and he said that, yeah, he was making fun of Biden. And he said, I am the healthiest president in the history of this nation. And then somebody posted a picture of him sitting in the golf cart <laughs> and a picture of Obama with a shirt on. Right, off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I think... Well, I, Obama's I, not the president. Well, right you know now. what, though? No, but he <laughs> yeah, was the, that fit. Yeah, he yeah, was but, pretty fit. Yeah, but I mean, at some point, if you just forget or ignore everything else around you, yeah. I mean, you guys are sitting over there. I'm sitting over here, so I'm the healthiest person in the entire basement. But he won't, won't release, any, my medical, he won't release any medical records at all. It's all 
off off the well, table. I told you. I mean, we talked about it. He he was he threatened to sue his uh, yeah. uh, college, his university. Well, that's already that's a yeah, that's a lawsuit. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. What he, was that for? He, so he um, he said he said that he'd be happy to release his uh, uh, transcripts from college. The second he said that, he had his people call the college and said if they released anything, they would be sued. Uh. And that absolutely under no circumstances should anybody anything be released. But they can. But as soon, but, but I he think can. they can though, because there's like a statute of limitations or something. No, well, I, I think mean, you, need, you can't just well, I release. Think you need, well, I think you need you need the, the students' permission. They have yeah. to sign up. It's like a HIPAA form. You can't just go get medical records for somebody. You got to get. Do you just want to? Do you just want to know what Ted got in college? Yeah, I don't think I don't think anybody wants that. I can't even find out what my son got yesterday. <laughs> it's all online oh, now. Cl- class era uh, grades uh, are out. Yeah. Nobody has access to it. Well, they they do. You, they have to give you access. They have to, to yeah, it, they yeah. give you access. Yes. Which well, you is know, C, C's get degrees too, guys. So let's just take it down a notch. Right? Yeah, that's true. Okay, <laughs> but the reason I brought this up is because, uh, man, she, she's. Th- th- we start talking about you know Harris and and uh, and Trump, and we forget Marjorie Taylor Greene. And and you know what? She, she had a little fun this weekend. She's amazing. She had a little fun this weekend. Uh, she got onto uh, Twitter because she loves Twitter. All those guys love Twitter. Um, she said that she she's doing some of her own research, and she found an article um, from way back, and I think it's 2013, where they were manipulating rain and thunderstorms with lasers. Oh, there's a laser again. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. she loves those and lasers. Now, yeah. So she said, she said, why wouldn't why wouldn't the Jewish space lasers? How could it be that the Jewish space lasers are now targeting? And making hurricanes in Republican-dominated areas like Florida and North Carolina yeah. to keep the people from voting. Oh, there's another one too coming this week. There's another hurricane. Yeah, it's already that's, turned to it's a already five. turned into a category five hurricane. Yeah. So it's coming right up to Florida. It's going to hit Florida again. So they recharge the space lasers. They recharge. That fast. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a Tesla that was charged overnight in the garage, and now it's yeah, it's ready it's like to 80, go. Eighty-five percent battery life, <laughs> but that's all you really need, you know. So. Yeah. So she she found some story from a while back, and I think it was about yeah. twelve years ago, twelve fifteen wow. years yeah. ago. The um, keyword that said is that they, they the were trying. Word, the keyword is they. It's always they. No, there was an actual. They was, control the weather. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, this they, specifically is the Jewish people control they, well, the weather. Well, they have the space lasers. Who else? That's they're the only ones that have the space lasers. They're the only ones that can afford to send space lasers. You know, up I there. saw this exact thing on South Park the other day. <laughs> it's. <laughs> I mean, that's that's how idiotic it sounds. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, she she um, said it out there, and then of course, once it's out there, this is my favorite part. So the guy from FEMA. And a couple of the uh, senators and, and uh, um, or I'm sorry, the, the mayors and the, the governors are like, thank you very much. They're now getting calls from people asking them what they're going to do about the Jewish space lasers and how they will stop them because they don't want any more hurricanes. So we need to put some money into stopping the Jewish so, space lasers. Yeah, so the guy, yes. from, the guy from FEMA is just like, I, he, he wanted to make this known. <laughs> you could stop calling. You can stop emailing. There, there, there is nothing we can do because these things don't exist. Right. Just because Marjorie Taylor Greene said it, it's not a thing. That's she's an elected official. I'm more worried about the people who are buying this, and then and then have the time to make that phone call. What, are you, Harry? What are you doing? I'm call, I'm calling the goddamn head of FEMA. I want these Jewish space lasers ended. Well, I mean, does it really matter? Because we know all the voting machines are going to switch Democratic no matter who they vote for anyway, and the Democrats are going to win again. And like oh, I said, Teddy, can't they just cheat Teddy, better? $700 million, please. I don't have $700 million. <laughs> I, didn't mention, I didn't mention any specific company. I just mentioned, you know, somehow, some way, on election eve. They're all going <laughs> to. All right, can we change the topic to beef sandwiches? No. Because at the Bears game, we tailgated in the uh, harbor lot, and – um there is uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in that lot. They have the the club there, so they have a, two outdoor patios and bars. So you can go in there and buy drinks and stuff. But this guy, the guys next to us, went over there, came back, and the guy's like, "Hey, they're giving away free bone of beef and sausages over there." Oh, that's really good stuff. Oh, it's it's great. I love bone of beef. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. And at this point, my buddy Matt and I haven't done anything food wise, so it's like nine thirty. <laughs> so we walk over there, and it turns out there's this guy. I think we mentioned him before. You did. Um, he's he owns a brewery. They brew all non-alcoholic beers. Well, is Craft, that, that athletic one? Athletic brewing. <sighs> There's another one it's too. Not but... called athletic. I forgot. They have they have one in Chicago and one in Milwaukee. I can't remember the name of it now. I'm sorry. Ave, maybe Avenue or something like that. Oh, it could be. So he 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 brews micro beers like IPAs and lagers and stuff like that. Um, 
only non-alcoholic. So he was doing a promotion promoting his beer. So he had a big tub of his beers, and then he had all this food catering from Bona Beef. So he had sandwiches and beef, uh, beefs and, and sausages and all the trimmings, right? So I'm like, oh, cool. So I go over there, I grab a beef, and I grab one of his beers. And we, I, we talk a little bit, and I'm like, all right, man, I'm, I'll give it a shot. I'm like, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. So we walk over, sit down. My buddy Matt goes up there, grabs sausage, beef, doesn't take a beer, comes back without a beer. And, I'm, and then I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, what? I go, you know the guy is not here to hand out beef sandwiches. He's here to promote his beer. Right. If you're not going to drink it, I get it. I'm not. Dr- I'm going to try it. But at least patronize, patronize him and, and think that, you know, yeah. You're going up there for to try his beer. At least, wait, take the beer. And the guys next to us did the same thing. They just walked back with beef sandwiches. I'm like, you guys aren't getting the fucking beers. I'm like, the okay. Guy, so how did it taste? It was okay. It was good. I, it actually was really good. It tasted like a a beer. Tastes like beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because we got a buddy of ours, Joe, Crazy Joe. Um, yeah, he he's a big non-alcoholic beer guy. I, it was. I mean, you couldn't tell the difference. See, I was wondering about that. No, I mean, like Heineken Zero tastes just like Heineken. It's a little bit more watery. But some my brother doesn't drink either. He drinks all the non-alcoholic stuff, and some of the he's got like an Oktoberfest um, that tastes pretty good. I mean, there's a slight difference, a little bit watery. That's it. I guess you know what I, I guess now that I think about it. I mean, would I really care? I, I like drinking. I like having a beer, but if I didn't get hammered, wouldn't that that probably be a plus? Wouldn't it? I mean, <laughs> I think that's the whole point. Yeah. I mean, well, no. I mean, I, I don't necessarily need to get hammered. I mean, I don't need the alcohol part of it. I just. I just like drinking beer. I don't drink soda. So I don't his, drink milk. One of his, so his beer had, was actually a half percent. It said on there half percent. But he said it's less than that, but I have to say half a percent. Yeah, that makes sense. I think all but, of them have to. No, get, but yeah, because yeah, some of them, because like Heineken Zero says 0.0. And some of the non-alcoholic beers say 0.0. There are absolutely no what, alcohol. What's the, what's the least alcoholic beer in the market? Like three three point two percent like a light Miller Lite? I think or, a Miller Lite, those are about 3%. Three percent. So. Okay. No, they're over that. Uh, Miller, are they really? Yeah, Miller Lite's like Four four percent over four percent. Really? Yeah. I, I thought I thought the imports what were about over like, four or five. Like Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra is like a little a bit less. That might be below four percent. Yeah. yeah. Like the oh. like the Modelo um, Oro and the uh, Corona, I've never had one. The Corona Premier. Those are four percent. Oh yeah. I've, I've I've had Corona Light. I've never had Corona. Kelly Oro, had a, had, had a couple Oro. last night, and uh, she loves them. She likes them. She likes them. The Corona Premiums too. They taste just like the regular. Yeah. Beers. You add a lime in there, it tastes the same. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I just don't. Want, I just don't like those the beers with like ten percent or eight percent alcohol because then you have you have a couple of them, and you're already you know it's yeah. already more than you I can't, want. You can't. Some of those are so like yeah. I had two eight eight and a half percent on uh, Thursday night or Friday night, and yeah, I could only have two. Uh, yeah, it's unnecessary. I don't understand why you would load a beer with that. I mean, if you're gonna do that, just have hard alcohol, have spirits, right? Yeah. That's just me. That's me. All right. Um, before we get to the start of the show. Um, I have to do this. Um, P. Diddy's mom uh, came out yesterday, and uh, good news. She said he is not guilty of all the heinous allegations. Oh, so done. Oh, all well, right. you know. And by the way, too, uh, he's having a he's having done. another he's having another good week. I guess he's now he's been implicated in the murder of Tupac <laughs> Shakur. I heard somehow. that, yeah. and Jimmy Hoffa. And John F. Kennedy. No, he's always wait, been no. The, I, I on really the did no. hear that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been impli- somehow. He's always imp- been in the. Ca- he's always been. He's been implicated. Really, I don't know. Really, I really yeah. don't know how. I, I know how Biggie. I know how Biggie Smalls died and all that stuff. I, I don't know anything about Tupac. Well, maybe at all. he's like behind. You know, whatever. And then, uh, and then to make it worse, I guess like whoever his high profile party goers are, obviously they have stuff on video. So eventually, they're going to start releasing names of some people who are somewhat important in the scheme of things, according to some other people. So that's going to be the other. So we're going to see who the little. But it doesn't little, matter. We're going, see, we're going to see who the naughty little boys were at it's, P. Diddy's parties. Yeah, I heard like his mom said Jay Z and Beyonce. His yeah. mom said, "Not guilty." Yeah, yeah. not guilty. Right. Well, if his mom okay. said it, but oh. and, and she did say this though. She did rein it in a little bit. She said her son is not perfect, <laughs> and he might not have been completely truthful about everything. Mm. But um, he has done some good things in the past. And, yeah. and? So, so did Adolf Hitler. Some good so things. Adolf Hitler did something good too. So did Adolf Hitler. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> so did Adolf. Jo- 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 Joseph right. Stalin. Uh, I, 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 owe you, I owe you five bucks. I told yeah. you to say Hitler today. Jo- Joseph Stalin would, would pick up little old ladies on the street and drive them home right before he murdered twenty five million of his own people. But he did good things too. So you know, just you're being sarcastic. No. So I, nobody can pick that up. Yeah. What well, do you mean he did good things too? It doesn't matter. But P. Diddy good, did good things, so that's yeah. what I'm, just, well, I'm making an I'm analogy. That's all. P. Diddy is, is <laughs> but, but his not on the same level. His mom said he's going to get punished like them, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not. His mom not said that go sometimes war. a truth and a lie can become so intertwined 
that you don't know which is which. So that, that I doesn't know. sound like he's telling the truth then. <laughs> I have no idea. I, Wait, but, yeah. is, isn't that a test for like a three-year-old though? Like three-year-olds can't distinguish between between fantasy and reality, so you have to give him a little test as a psychologist. So is P. Diddy like basically has a mental acumen of a three-year-old? He can't distinguish between reality and and, fi- and I think and that's fantasy. his mom. I think his oh. mom cannot. <laughs> yeah, because I think we all know that at, at a certain level, he's done a lot of bad things, and he's probably going to get in trouble for it. But, she thinks. She thinks that her son may not fit into what society says is a good person. You know what? These are all her quotes. He should have kept those parties in Belize. The second he brought these parties to Miami, oh yeah, if he would have just had them all in Belize, they all had the money to go there. No videos. Well, they could have videoed them. In and, Belize. And, and also, and also, you know what? Don't rape people. Let's let's just not but, do that. Well, my, let's, my, my let's other question. Definitely. Draw the line at the raping. No, but here's yeah. my other question. How many parties do you have? It seems like he's having a party like every other night. Like you have to invite, doesn't it just take a lot of energy to invite like 200 people for like an all night, three day party, like constantly? Like wouldn't you just want to break after a while? I'm yeah. like, get the hell out of my house. I wouldn't be left Ted, alone. You know, Ted, so, that's you're what you're picturing a party in your house. That's yeah. the problem. That's what well, Tuesdays are for. Oh Tuesdays, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tuesdays are like you, you, you get in a hose, Jeez. you get a hose, a bleach hose, right? You bleach hose everything down, <laughs> right? And then you hire some people to clean. And then those people have to hope they don't become part of the rest of the party. Get out before the party starts. Don't take any drinks from from yeah. Mister Mister Diddy. I, I brought my own water. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm good. Thank you. How much party time does this guy need? Is all I'm saying. You know, I mean, Jesus. If you had just take a break. Hold on. If you had unlimited funds. Yeah. I'm thinking about that. And you I were, still wouldn't do that. And you were <laughs> recklessly stupid. Okay. I mean, Hugh Hefner wasn't Hugh Hefner. I mean, I, I don't know. It didn't seem like you know. He well, was Hugh Hef- Hugh, people but Hugh Hefner's but. not. In, you know, Hugh Hefner lived a pretty good life before he died of you know old age and natural causes. I don't remember right. Hugh Hefner being but, locked up on charge. I mean, I'm not saying they didn't do. Oh, crazy he went shit. to bed in, before the grotto stuff started. Yeah. <laughs> at the Playboy, I'm not saying he didn't do shit at the Playboy Mansion. You know, but this is like the '60s and '70s, and you know, so whatever he was doing, you know, I'm, I don't sure, know. I'm, I'm not saying there wasn't crazy stuff going on there, but so you know, I I met my father in law a good friend of his. We went um, jeeping together in Arizona. Um, he was an airline pilot back in the um, um, 60s and 70s. And when he used to fly into O'Hare, they used to get off at the airport and there would be a limousine to pick him and the flight attendants up and take him to the Playboy Mansion in downtown. Oh, and he used, to, he, used to, he used to spend yeah. overnights at the Playboy uh, Mansion. Obviously, you're not going to be there um, for an hour and leave. Uh, would you ever go to Playboy Mansion and say, hey, I'm only, I've been here 45 minutes. Hey, i got to get out of here. I'll... Uh, no. I'll see you guys later. No, of course not. And I'm sure at, at P. Diddy's parties, you can't leave. You can't leave. Right? It's like, it's, it's it's like, like Goodfellas. Ho- no, it's like the Hotel California. You can check in, but you, <laughs> you can, can never leave. leave. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like Goodfellas. You walk in, you hear, yeah. now you can't leave. It's like, oh, no. That wasn't Goodfellas. Well, which that was one? a Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale? Bronx Tale? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same, same concept, same concept. Yeah. They're the exact same movie. Yeah. Here. Well, not according to Mr. Well, well, they're all the same, they're all the same movie, right? There's all the same gang. Same guy plays the same gangster. Joe, right. You got to have Joe Pesci. Right. Ray Liotta. Right, you got you got to have a four foot, a four foot nine yeah. Joe Pesci, yeah. who everyone is so, somehow for some insane reason scared of. Yeah. And, and and obviously he's the only one in town with a gun, right? No one, no one else has a gun. They're completely defenseless. They couldn't, you know, he does horrible things to people. You could set him off, but you know, there's nobody that can sneak up on him and shoot him in the back of the head at any time, right? There's, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's okay. Exactly what. Gotcha. Isn't, what, isn't it exactly what. He's like, he's like some superhero <laughs> or Wait, super villain. He, what, in one he got shot, and in another one he got dumped into a, a Corn, hole. Cornfield. Right? Well, he's yeah. playing characters in both those, right? Yeah. 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 He played the Spilatro brother. He played Tony Spilatro. Yeah. So Casino. He got murdered that was the movie Casino. Yeah. He yeah. got murdered. Based on a true Cornfield. story. Yeah. 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 Indiana. I don't, I don't know any of that. I, I, I don't know the real true, story. Yeah. It's a true story. I just assume it all happened, right? Yeah. Goodfellas is a true story too. Is it really? It's a little embellishment, but yeah. Oh, it's, uh, no. It, I mean, Goodfellas is, yeah, Henry Hill. Yeah. He's still, oh, he just died, I think. Uh, he yeah. was in the Witness Protection Program for like the last 30 years or so, whatever. Yeah, but he was so. still doing interviews and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we didn't know any of this stuff. But he came <laughs> out. He wasn't in, he came out. He was like living a normal life. Yeah. And so nobody, I mean, is that revenge stuff just, does it just end after a while? I don't know. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the Real Three Idiots podcast and happy. National Inner Beauty Day. Okay. Yeah. Inner. Inner Beauty Day. Um, and this is what they said. We all have inner beauty, except the truly ugly people. Oh. So, yeah. Is that the model? That's uh, yeah. what they say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone has, tr- any, everyone has inner beauty, unless you have no inner beauty at all. <laughs> <you're just laughs> then so you ugly. don't. So it's like we're all God's yeah. children, except. Except for those who aren't. That except, guy, <laughs> except for that guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Except for the bad people, yeah. 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 Even yeah. Wait, he just said he believes in God. No, he doesn't. He lied. Yeah. 
I, I believe in God. He, he can't believe in God. He did something bad. All right. Um, we got to do Teddy's tips. Uh, Mark, do you have a kick-ass poem? I don't know. I got one. <clears throat> I have one, yeah. Okay. Is it, wait, it's going to be hard ass. to beat last week. I don't know. Last week was really last good. Last week was good. Yeah. Last week was really this good. You kind of had a little music and poetry yeah. in there. Yeah. It, was, it was pretty intense. Okay. Thank you. Do your thing. Right now? I mean, no, yeah. I started. That was part of it. Oh, oh sorry. Fucking ruined it. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, now go, go, go now. Yeah. Time slips, Ted tips. Say please and cheese and picture. Ted in deep thought, speaking as if he was never taught. Let's all relax and relate as Ted begins to state another awkward tip. So don't fret or bet. Just free your mind because Ted's tips is one of a kind. One of a kind, Ted. Whoa. I said one of a kind. Stop writing. Whoa. <laughs> is that the end? Is that the end? I was drunk. He didn't even I was, listen. I was drunk. I, I wasn't even I, listening. I heard, he, I heard, hold on. Hold on. He, he never listens. I know. He, so I think last week he said to me, he goes, he goes, oh, we should do this. I remember what it was. We should do this on the show. And I was like, and I'm looking at him like, you're fucking with me, right? We literally did that like two weeks ago. He, told me, he told me my poems give him gas. That's how much sense. Oh sus no! He I makes. thought that, I thought that was wait. Will Smith, speaking of gas, Will Smith. You've heard this story. So Will Smith supposedly <laughs> has such bad gas that they had to evacuate the set of I think Men in Black for three hours at one point to clear out the air. Here's my question: This is a multi-billion-dollar production, you know, with a with a multi-million-dollar actor. You can't hire a couple of best boys or page grips to have like these big uh, industrial-sized fans to just clear to air the place out in less than three hours. Like you're you're completely at the at the you're being held hostage by Will Smith's farts hold on why that, is that a thing that, that fun, does not on. seem that can't the be the funniest part they of said this that. is yeah. funniest part of this the director is, said that the I director know. of men in black yeah. the original men He's in black that about he got on kelly ripa's podcast which i can only imagine is got to be the worst <sighs> possible fucking thing that you could ever listen to okay and he told the story <laughs> that um that he farted it was so bad but but he, he followed it up with this this is what he said he goes the director said he's a lovely guy will smith is a lovely guy he goes and some people fart and some people don't. Yeah, no, some people fart. Yeah, some okay. people fart. Wow. But but think about. I mean, this guy. How long? How old is Men in Black? Is that twenty years? Oh, it's got to be older. Yeah. 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 Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, and he told the story. He said he said that Tommy Lee Jones was. They were in a car and they were like in an upside down thing and it was sealed, I guess. And 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 Tommy Lee Jones was very polite. He's like, hey, he didn't mind. Yeah, he's like, it's okay. It's okay. I enjoy you know farts. He said. <laughs> he goes, Nothing. What? He goes. Because he's all coked oh, up. He doesn't that, know why didn't good. the director just <laughs> embellish and just say that? It offended everybody but Tommy Lee Jones. He loves farts. <laughs> Tommy Lee Jones is a love fart. He's got a fart fetish. That's why he came back to do the other movies with <laughs> them. Why doesn't fetish. Will Smith just eat something different before he's shooting? Like yeah. that's. Just, <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Wait, didn't he do Men? In, Tommy Lee Jones did Men in Black too, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's he didn't. the movie they're talking about. I think. No, I, I think it was original. Oh, okay. I think it was the original. What's Men like the Black. most gaseous, like uh, food? What, what's like the type of food you could feed somebody that in, like induces farts, like corned beef and cabbage, or what? Uh, what cabbage like, is pretty Brussels far. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So just don't feed them that stuff. I don't know what his diet that's what I'm was. Saying. <laughs> Can you just do a scene on an empty Take stomach and eat afterwards? Or yeah. Something. Yeah. I, I... Seems like a really solvable thing. So do you on, do you honestly believe that that happened? I don't. Yeah. yeah, and if it did, I'm sure they grossly. I mean, exaggerated. I mean, th- think about how long three hours is. Okay, so somebody farts. And you have to wait. You have to evacuate everybody because it's going to take three hours That's just... for the smell to go away. What if the director is such a, a, a an aloof that it coincided with like a big lunch break, right? And everyone's like, "Oh, we got to leave. We're not coming back until the fart smell's gone." And he was like, yeah. "Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess the fart cleared it off for like three hours. <laughs> yeah. No one's coming back. And you can uh, uh, get a, a, like a light, a, an industrial sized fan to help get the fart out, right? We're completely it's helpless. So, you just have to let the fart sit there, yeah, just completely percolating helpless. in the air. Right. Somebody, had, somebody, somebody that was it. there on the sets going, "This guy's an idiot. We, look we were it. just kidding. We're not <laughs> leaving because of the fart. We're leaving because we got a three hour break." <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, I always think about this. Like, when you do something 20 years after, like, I, I, I just keep reading all this stupid shit about Michael Jordan and, and, and uh, who's Isaiah Thomas and all this stuff. Man, it's just the, let it go, man. Let it go. Nobody yeah. gives a shit anymore. Well, everyone's right. a history revisionist now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every story that, that we lived through, like, I lived through those decades. Yeah. Like, I watched that with my family. and yeah. the, the truth about Scotty Pippen. Said, I listened. I saw this live. I know what happened. I don't need somebody else to tell me what happened or their version of what happened. I have my own. I saw it live. I watched it. We heard the stories the next day, right? And now 20 years later, they're regurgitating them, and somehow they have different meaning, and they have, they're have they deeper, and they're darker. And they're, It's like, no, it's the same well, as it ever was. It's called a slow news cycle. Well, I remember <laughs> um, 
Jim Belushi and Dan Aykroyd getting on, I think it was Saturday Night Live, one of the anniversary things. And they were talking because I think uh, John Belushi had just died. Yeah. Right? He, did. And, he was like 32 and, and or I remember, 33. I remember Dan Aykroyd said, those who were there know, those who weren't, never will. And that's it. That's it. That's where he left yeah. it at. Yeah. He goes, he goes we, we, the people who need to know what happened or, or who were part of what happened, no. Everybody else, fuck them. Right. It, it, it's just so unimportant. What what everyone else thinks because they weren't part of that existence, right? I mean, no matter how good, bad, or indifferent Will Smith is in real life or yeah. Michael Jordan is, who gives a shit? Yeah, nobody nobody can tell me. Like when I was fourteen or thirteen years old, seventh eighth grade, when when the Bulls were losing to the Detroit Pistons, and I I, I say this over and over again. I tell my boys this: when Robin came to the Bulls, I wasn't a big Dennis Robin fan. When I was thirteen years old, there was two people in this world I wanted dead: Dennis Robin and Bill Lambert. Bill Lambert. I wanted them <laughs> dead. I mean, I would. I mean, I was insanely. I think. Hate, I think I mean, we all wanted them dead. Yeah, and now all of a sudden, what? I'm supposed to be a Dennis Rodman fan because he's on playing. So I mean, I I cheered on the Bulls, and I, and it's the second he lost, it was over. But I'm, I i did not I mean, yes, hustle was great and everything, but I wait, remember those days when he stepped on Pippen, when he dragged Jordan. Wait a minute, out. wait a minute. You didn't like him when he was on the Bulls? No, I. I I'm not saying that. I I, I didn't like him because he's Robin, but I did like his play on the Bulls. I mean, yeah, we won. Yeah, he was great. He's great. He's he's one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Pound for pound, he's unbelievable. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. There's no, I mean, honest to God, I mean, I give him all the props in the world, but I still didn't forget. Thank God, because we have a surprise guest, Dennis. No, I, that's fine. <laughs> I, I did. I did try to get Dennis Rodman, and his guy asked how much I was paying. Oh, I used to run in. I used to <laughs> run no, into said, him. He said fifty thousand bucks. Oh gosh. I'm like, Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> we used to run into him like twice a week. At, at, at these two bar, these bars we used to go to women's lingerie store. No, crowbar. He was oh. in there like three days a week. It's oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah, he used to go there. And he ruined yeah. it for everybody when he walked in because it was like this whole shit show. Everyone was there just to see Dennis Rodman. And we used to hang out there. All right, it's a long story, but anyway. Okay, so we're not hating on Dennis Rodman. Sure. Okay. Um, oh, I got to do Ted's sponsor. Uh, Ted's Tips is sponsored by the folks at The Perfect Company. Perfect Hat, Perfect Hat, Perfect Shoes, and now they are pleased to announce Perfect Socks. Perfect Socks are perfect when you need your feet to be perfectly warm, and perfectly dry. No other sock in the world is more perfect. Perfect socks should never be worn near rodents or buzzing insects. Perfect socks can cause flooding and earthquakes if worn on the wrong feet. Perfect socks will create a feeling of uneasiness in extremely tall or exceptionally loud people. Perfect socks can change your sexual orientation and pig skin skin pigment. In extreme cases, perfect socks will make you like your cousin, too much. Never allow perfect socks to come in contact with fruits or vegetables. Perfect socks, the perfect holiday gift for someone you won't see again. It sounds perfect. It's perfect. Yes. I mean, that is perfect. All right, Teddy, are you ready for your tip? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. You seem like too ready. Uh, Ted, we need, we, we need some help. So now you're helping more than one person. Wow. Is this a French person? Oh, really? <laughs> uh, my wife and I listen to the show. She thinks your tips are great. And I love that it just stops right there because what he's... I, I know, so I didn't say, I think your tips are great too. Oh, we. That's just right. one of us. So she, he obviously thinks your tips are bullshit. That's just one of us. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, we have a dilemma. At the, end of the, at the end of next month, we have two weddings on the same day. My best mate from university is getting married in Scotland. And the same weekend, my wife's cousin is getting married in Dublin. Both weddings are three-day events, and we'll, both will be great fun. We can't figure out which to attend. We have to send some. We have to send in regrets and make some plans. We won't go separate, and we can't make both. My wife says you will know what to do. Peter and Gwen, Edinburgh, Scotland, and then it says, Mark, do you ever watch any films made outside of America? You might like some of the newer films coming out of Europe. So, for I guess for a movie mansion, you might want to do something. Uh, foreign. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right, Teddy, help uh, uh, Pete and Peter Gwen. and Gwen. Okay. Hey, guys. I actually always wanted to visit Scotland or uh, Dublin, which I've never been to either. So I guess if I had a choice, I don't know which one I'd want to see first. Probably, okay. Uh, probably Dublin. That's uh, a separate issue, though. Pete, so. um, why you don't you do like, this? You wouldn't like Dublin. Why don't you send your address? Yeah. <laughs> and Teddy can come live with you. <laughs> or if you go away for three days, you have a dog or something, maybe Teddy can watch a dog. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to make this real simple, guys. You know, uh, obviously, you're, so basically it's your best friend versus your wife's cousin, wedding, three-day destination, or, you know, obviously three-day event, wedding the same weekend, can't do both. I would just, to make it as simple as possible, who's the, what would your wife be happy with the most? Because you've got to spend, you're the one who has to spend 24-7 with her. So I would just defer to her, just say, hey, 
what do you prefer? Because your best friend's still going to be your best friend. If he's your, if he's your friend, it's a guy friend. He's going to be cool about it. But but if you if Dude, you if you shun if you shun the relative's wedding, that could, because then you got to go to you know see them maybe perhaps once in a while. Then you got to see your wife every day. So just to keep the peace, <laughs> some, 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 someone's got to someone's got to be collateral damage. I would just say what what makes your wife happy. I'm guessing she's going to say the wife's cousin because they're they're family. You could obviously hook up with your best friend. Obviously, not hook up, but just get get there with your best friend some other time. So don't have sex with your best friend. Yeah, you could obviously. Peter, Peter, I mean, you yeah. could get him something from yeah, the wedding. Why, you know what, Peter? You know why are we limiting this? Yeah. yeah. Get why him don't something. you do this? Why don't you do this? Go to the cousin's wedding. <laughs> then maybe in, in a week or two after the wedding, uh, you and your buddy go for like golf trip, have a little sex, do some do it's some like, 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 bro- like Brokeback Mountain, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Where he he can't quit you, you know he can't quit you. So yeah, and here's the thing: the persons who, whose wedding you ultimately don't go to, maybe just get them a little bit better quality of gift that you had that you would have wouldn't have had you had gone to their wedding, just to kind of say, hey, sorry we couldn't make it. Obviously, there's it's their wedding day; they're not going to die if you're not there. They'll understand, I'm sure. You're, it's not like you're going to be a no show. So like I said, I would just defer to what makes the wife happiest, and you could always work around the rest. That's kind of genius because well, it's, it's sensible. Well, no, because it is sensible. No, no, and here's why. If you do that, right, and now, I mean, Gwen's going to listen to this, but she might just pick his friend's wedding because I was thinking about that. he gave her the choice. Not no so, more. You just right, I know. I just fucked this up. But, but maybe, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that could be he throws a bone, she throws a bone back, then he bones his best friend. Can we add, add this, edit this out because you started saying that's genius. You referred to <laughs> And, and Jack and I both said no, sensible. You there's, said there's genius. There's no editing allowed in the show. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So no, the, the thing we'll that, stick with genius. The caveat to it, though, is there has to be no regrets about it. Well, he can't there's turn always, back there, later there's and always say, regrets. you didn't let me go to this wedding. You know what I mean? It has to be, <laughs> yeah. we're all in on this decision. Because you yeah. know he's going to hear about his best mate's wedding. Yeah. Right. And he's going to be like, and they're all going to be like, you missed out, dude. Yeah. You missed this. Yeah. You missed but, this. But, the, yeah. but there'll be other future good times, right? There'll be other future good times. Unless always... that's the highlight of their life, right? Is this like wedding going to be the highlight? weddings? No, I'm just saying, is, the, is this wedding going to be the highlight of their life? Like where his friend's not going to get married first wedding. There's, there's yeah. not going to be it's any more good times. Wedding. He might get divorced in a year from now. There might be a second wedding. Who knows? You know, well, oh, <laughs> you, you know what? I mean, in, in all honesty. Then you go to that one. <laughs> in all honesty, he could go, he could skip that, and then maybe in a couple of weeks, uh, Peter and Gwen could go visit and hang out, right, for like a long weekend with his friend. Yeah, they could do something like that and dress up, and and, and yeah, they could get they, they could, could do like a wedding. fancy weekend. Yeah, you could do a fancy weekend. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never done a fancy weekend, but get, I'm sure it'd get them get them a high end uh, appliance from Bed Bath and Beyond or whatever the whatever the Irish version is of that store. Or some out other there. Con- cont- store. container store, <laughs> container store, some other store that went out of business. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't think Bed Bath and Beyond Bed is Bath a place. Yeah. It's an online. Sears. I think it's yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. Woolworth. Sears is a good Woolworth one. Venture. Venture. Kmart. That's. Teddy, I, you know what? It's a, it's amazing to me because when we first started doing this, most of your tips were inane, almost, almost ridiculous. I mean, mostly it was killing people with poison and. Yeah. <laughs> or no, yeah, they were there was mostly there were solutions de- that, that resulted solutions. in death. Solutions, yes, yeah, there that resulted there in per- death. Permanent solutions to temporary problems. <laughs> Final solution. Wait a minute, wouldn't exactly. that be awesome, Ted? I need a permanent solution. <laughs> Like, I got I'm that. open well, to well, death well, and poisoning. Well, there's, there's, a, there's a nitrogen uh, suicide pod in uh, in Switzerland right now that you can go to for the sum of what ten, fifteen thousand. They'll definitely they'll well, put you have to qualify. The push, the you have to qualify. Sleep, the you have to qualify to kill yourself. Yeah, it's a uh, it's, <laughs> like medically. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They'll 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 kill you, but you have to be terminally ill and you have to agree to it. And you there's like it's a whole. So thing. you can't just get fucked up and like <laughs> man, we're doing right. this. No, it's a, it's so, a, like like a getting process. married in so, Vegas. <laughs> so would you be considered? So how much of a loser would you be? You even got turned down for suicide. <laughs> I want to commit suicide. You're not good enough to commit suicide. You don't qualify to commit suicide. Oh, it's not, so, it's, wouldn't that make you more it's depressed? Not, it's suicide. not dying by suicide. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like a. a a dying uh, with dignity. It's called. I forgot what it's called. It's uh, yeah. It's like an like a. Assisted. It's like a Kevorkian. It's yeah. assisted. A little classier yeah. Kevorkian it's thing. Death. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you see the pod? It's a very comfy looking pod. It's like in a reclamp position. It almost no, looks it's like you're amazing, in. A, yeah. Almost like you're in an IMAX theater. You're just kind of looking up. You just go to sleep <laughs> and you don't wake up. Yeah. But other people, you're in there, and other people have. Ugh, gross. Well, I think they they hose the they probably bleach wiped it before you you know they, <laughs> get in there. Is, is that the same company that does P Diddy's house? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a, we got a call for the pod, uh, but I need I need forty guys at P Diddy's house. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna hey, need a gonna, hazmat I'm, team I'm for gonna, that one. I, I haven't been following the P Diddy thing too much, but one thing really sparked my my attention when I saw it, the headline, and you guys have heard it. Like there is a 
there's video out there of him having sex with another guy. Okay. An A-lister. Somebody who's bigger than he is. Like wiener-wise? No. Oh, celebrity-wise. Wise. Oh, yeah. No, a bigger celebrity hey, than him. Don't laugh. I just okay. <laughs> a bigger celebrity than him. Well, he's pretty big, so I mean, aren't they all kind of the same once he's you get to that big. level? I mean. Oh, what do you mean? No, I mean not like physically oh, big. I mean just I, okay. na- name Rick. <laughs> I'm not saying he's like. We're not doing wiener talk, so forget it. We're talking <laughs> no, about the statue. He's, he's not, only he's, like right, five he's, not, he's not the Jolly Green Giant. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that. I'm saying there's a person out there with the same name recognition as P. Diddy. Do you think he's? Do you don't think there's another person more famous than him? Yeah, well, I mean, it's that's what they fam- just said. Famous just, is like a relative yeah. term. Okay, let's not argue about yeah, it, about yeah, that. It's famous. I'm just saying there's somebody that they said is more famous than him. Okay, so if we heard like the person's Justin Bieber is more famous than him. Yeah, but if we heard the person, we're like, holy cow! Leonardo DiCaprio is more famous than him. Are you saying there's a video of P. Diddy it's, banging Leonardo okay, DiCaprio? Because here, I don't want to see here's it. Here's what I'm saying. This news article showed a picture of Justin Bieber and him. When he was 16. And I, Yeah, I okay, feel okay, bad no, 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 for no, Justin no, okay. Bieber in this situation. No, I, I'm not saying when he was 16. He was going to parties until he for, up until a couple of years ago. So I don't know how old either of them were. But they were at all these parties. And they're hinting at they're they're refusing to say which one they think it is because it's a libel lawsuit, right? Sure. But they're shopping this video around, and clearly, it's them having sex. And you so could, you we could couldn't tell. say we, we couldn't guess right is. now who we think. That's it what is. I'm asking you. We don't want to get we don't want to we don't want to get in legal trouble. So let's not speculate because you know what it's going to come out soon enough because people can't keep their mouth shut. No, so it might we'll not probably, come we'll out. Know, we'll know by next week. Is it? <laughs> just let me finish. Just let me finish. <laughs> I'm asking you guys to guess who it is. They are not saying anything. They're just showing pictures of random. But they're saying it was a male, and he's a bigger, like, A-lister than P. Diddy. And it's clear what's happening and who it is. And there's no doubt about it, and the video's being shopped out there. I don't know. What's the big deal? So what? So he's into dudes and chicks. Who cares? Well, I'm not I'd... saying it's a big deal. I'm saying, who do you think it was? I I would have to guess. I would have. I think I have a pretty... Solid. I got. I got a guess too. All right. I, I do. would say a pretty okay, solid go, guess. No, no, I want to go last. I'm okay, go last. Jay Z. That's who I was gonna say. Because those two little knuckleheads, P, you know, birds of a feather flock together. I do not want to see P Diddy having sex with Jay Z. I don't think Jay Z is that attractive. <laughs> I just, well, I just be, don't be, think be, he's that attractive. Yeah, well, Beyonce. No offense. Beyonce likes him for some reason. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> excellent singer. I love his music. Absolutely love his music. But I just no. I think uh, that's yeah. a good guess, Ted. I didn't think. I was thinking for sure Justin Bieber. Really? Yeah, because you know he had that whole um, like depression, mental meltdown like five yeah. years ago. Yeah, he did. And he was in real. I mean, he was like going through some really bad shit. And maybe it was because he came to realize that there's a, somebody told him that we got a tape on you, and they tried sell it to him. I don't know, but they're trying to sell it like for millions of dollars back to the celebrity. Can you but sell it, somebody called, else's called blackmail? No, I mean I got I mean I don't know they're I mean I mean if you're the not, attorneys if you go, like they're shopping. Once you get the one phone call to the FBI, remember remember that attorney for uh, Stormy Daniels tried to shake down Nike you know, for like twenty million for something, and then oh, like yeah. and literally within like ten seconds the FBI was on it. He just got disbarred. He were, you know he's serving like fifteen wait a minute, wait years. A I got a video. Save two two people who don't know that they were filmed. Well, I think they know they were being filmed. There's like no. Then I mean, what does he care? Then it's. I mean, well, I guess if you're drugged, I mean, yeah, if obviously you're drugged, they're on drugs. They don't yeah. realize what's Who going on. Who do you on. think it was, Matt? I thought it was Al Pacino. <laughs> yes. <laughs> any? Oh yeah. Any, any given Sunday? Any given, <laughs> su- any given Sunday? I made more mistakes <laughs> than a middle-aged man could make, and this is one of them. <laughs> I went to P Diddy's party. All right, who do you think, Jackie? No, I, I said Jay Z. Oh, you did. Oh, both yeah. of you agreed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Because yeah. I had heard like that whole stuff with Jay Z and Beyonce, you know, coming right. out. That that the rumor is that that's why she didn't get any like Grammy nods. Yeah. I mean, you what, know, because or like Diddy had sex with Jay Z nods because like she they're involved they in along, the right? yeah. it's involved they're involved in that whole thing. That's the rumor. Really? Yeah. Because she's fabulous. Well, she came out with that new album and didn't get any like even nominations for the like the music awards. You're, oh, the country album. Is whatever? that what all that was? Oh, I didn't know it. I, I don't pay attention God, enough to it. Ho- Hollywood and the music industry is so fucking petty and weird, right? Yeah. It's just crazy. It's, you know, it's, it, it is really weird. I mean, yeah. they all do. The funny thing is, is that no one, none of them probably want anybody to know what they do when they're not, you know, just being regular, like all the weird shit. And then they automatically like shit all over everybody. I mean, think how many people 
did the same thing Harvey Weinstein did, just on a much lower level. And then probably, we don't, we'll never know about it, but they came out and was like, oh, Harvey Weinstein's the worst person ever. Yeah. And all the people at those parties are like, I was never videotaped. So Pete Diddy's the worst person worst, ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, well think, think about the minor celebrities who like we've never even heard of in Hollywood who are doing probably the exact, I mean, not on that, that scale, but like kind of the same thing. In fact, they just arrested some director... I want to say his name is like Eric Weinstein or something, and I guess he's been drugging women for like years, and he's kind of like so it's a just lo- Weinstein. Is no, no, I'm just like, no, he's like a lower level director, but he's not as famous as Harvey Weinstein. But he, you know, he's, he's a su- he's a somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying he's a somebody in Hollywood, you know, a bit player. But yeah, I'm, I'm not saying everyone's doing it, but obviously they got this guy, and I guess he had a little modus operandi going. So. I, I would guess everybody does. Well, it. Matt had that going when we started the show. What? What? <laughs> Wait, how did I ruin this? It used to be. <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. You had a, you had a casting couch at one point. I did. You got a couch right there. <laughs> hey, the only person who's been on the casting couch is Ted exactly. alone. Yeah, and I, and I don't. I don't. I don't want him casted. I want him casted away. I want him to be a castaway. Yeah. When I saw that uh, uh, Tom Hanks movie, and he's there with with Wilson, the, the soccer yeah. ball. I, I bought the Ted. Ball. I bought Ted a soccer ball. Yeah, the volleyball. Yeah. No, you wanted volleyball. Will, you wanted Wilson. Yeah. I Wilson. bought Ted a soccer ball, and I, I'm like, I'll drive to. I'll drive to golf. I got him a soccer ball. I, I, I drove there. He's like, once time's our tea time. And I just threw the ball and I drove away. Yeah. <laughs> and somehow he made it back. So I don't understand. I don't understand any of this stuff. Did we end a tip? How did it end? He, we ended the tip. Okay. It tips over. It tips over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the wife's Pete, deciding. If, yeah. yeah. The wife's deciding. If, if Pete, it's, it's, again, it's fucking genius. I know it's genius. Either she decides or just whatever makes the wife happy. Because she might, maybe she's a little <coughs> passive aggressive. She might want to decide. She'll just say, what would make you happy? We have to assume that she's what, a little passive aggressive. What would make you. What, <laughs> Gwen, what would make you happy? If it makes you happy. Cousin or friend, take your pick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, this is really wild. Sony Music just bought all of Pink Floyd's songs, likenesses, and their name. You ready for this? For $400 million. Wow. Huh. Is is that crazy? I mean, is anything worth four hundred million dollars? I mean, like, there's not you know, a fucking I mean, thing in the planet. I've, I've heard Pink Floyd. Dollars. I mean, they're like okay. I was but, like, do you know, people even listen to Pink Floyd anymore? That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. They're from what, like the how 70s. Are you make money off? They're of like that? they're from the seventies or something. Yeah. Right? I mean, I'm guessing it's all royalties and residuals. But who, didn't somebody buy Michael Jackson's music collection for yeah. hundreds well, of millions of dollars? Yeah, I think it was I, less actually. I can't remember who did it or half a half a. Yeah. So I, I don't. So I have Bruce Springsteen sold his. So yeah. I, yeah. So I have the highest. Here's here's some of the highest paid ones. Um, Springsteen sold all of his likeness, name, 500, everything. Right? Five hundred million. Yeah. Um, Kiss for three hundred million. Yeah. Now this is kind of weird because I don't I don't know how old Katy Perry is. Oh yeah. But yeah. she sold hers for two hundred and twenty five million already. So I don't know if it's everything she does moving upcoming, forward, right? Or if it's just everything in the past. But I mean. I mean, she, I mean, is she better than Lady Gaga? She's hot, way hot. Ta- but, oh ta- but talent wise, isn't Lady Gaga like probably more talented oh, in terms of a singer? More talented, yeah, yeah. more talented. definitely more. Katy talented. Perry's way hotter. Oh my god, dude! I'm talking about. And talent. then, and then here's the biggest one. Um, see if you can guess the the, the group that sold um, their everything. Um, they sold it for one point two billion dollars. Rolling Stones or Beatles, right? Rolling Stones and the Beatles. I believe uh, Michael Jackson owned the Beatles stuff. A lot. Oh, that's Paul, right. Oh, that's Paul, right. Michael Paul Rolling Stone think, still has yeah, all their I'm, stuff. I'm sorry, Michael Paul Jackson McCartney bought it back. Yeah. I think. Michael Jackson bought the Beatles stuff. I think. Oh, yeah. you too. One of them. You yeah. too. Nope. Queen. Oh, yeah, that's right. Queen. Yeah. Really? One point two billion dollars. Well, somebody made some money. Is and, that and, crazy? And somebody thought that was worth one point two billion dollars. I mean, I, I get well, it. Well, they don't think it's not like a knee jerk reaction. I'll buy it for that much. They know how much they're going to make off of it. But why would There's why no would secret. anybody? But here's what I don't understand. If if somebody can sell it for one point two billion dollars, and they're like, "I can make four billion, Why would anybody sell it? Like, why would I? Why would I sell my? Well, stuff? I mean, you're talking about three musicians for Queen, for example. Freddie Mercury's dead, right? Right. So they're all successful in their own rights, doing other stuff. They were before they joined the band, and um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, that's a lot of money, right? How but, do you how do you make that? If, if, but they they're going to be able to make one point one billion dollars by doing nothing the rest of their lives. This other entity that purchased it is going to have to, yeah. Well, here's a bad analogy. Make it work for money. Yeah. So here's a but ba- it's got to be worth at least double that. Well, here's I, a, well, here's a bad an, bad analogy. Is this so? When the city of Chicago sold the to- sold uh, the uh, the toll roads to a, a third party vendor the for Skyway, one, yeah. yeah, for Skyway for like one point two oh, billion yeah. dollars, so they could fund their unfunded pension liabilities here. They took the money up front because they needed it, and but now the private entity that bought the toll or the the Skyway. 
and can jack up the price over the course of 10 years, they probably are going to make about $5 billion. Well, they've so, already made their money back. Yeah, yeah. they made their money back in, very In fact, shortly. I think they might be suing the city because they're not getting paid whatever they're supposed to get paid. There you go. That's good re- good yeah. city revenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you want was this? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Good luck. Well, wait. No, no, no. They're not, the city's not giving the money. They're... Well, I think they're no, keeping I, all the revenue. No, what I heard was that the, the vendor, whoever they oh. sold it to, might be suing the city for like missed payments or something. And what is what is Mayor Daly care? He's long gone, right? He's you know, is he dead yet? Yeah, no. I don't. No, no? He's, what, what's God, it, what was his name? Was. What was his name again? Daly, Richard, Richard Daly, Richard, Richard M. Daly, Richard M. Yeah, Richard J. J. Richard J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think M was, M was the man. older one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually read so so. If you're ever interested, um, there's a book about uh. Older Richard Daly, yeah. the mayor of Chicago. Richard M. Daly. Man, you want to you want to read something insane? Being the mayor of Chicago, I think it was in the fifties and sixties. I think, yeah, fifties, sixties, seventies. Holy shit! Oh yeah, man, you fifties and sixties. Yeah, yeah, you could do anything. Yeah, I mean, he he literally was the king of what three million people. Wow. Yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, one last thing. I uh, don't know if you know this, but. Uh, the people in Pink Floyd, and you know, Mark, you probably know this more, David sure Gilmore and Roger Waters. Yeah, they haven't spoken in 30 years. They fucking hate each other. Yeah, that's, a that's yeah. It's just artistic differences. It's a big deal. Do, <laughs> in the end, well, Roger Waters bands. Was a, Wa- Roger Waters was an original member. Guilford, I mean, he, he came in like a year later or whatever. Do, do all bands, though, end up, do they just end up hating each other? These two guys hate each other. They, they literally, they were suing each other for... Because Roger Waters was doing a, the whole wall tour on his own, and David Gilmore's like, "You can't do that," and he's like, "Fuck you, man! I wrote these songs, right? You know, I was this was mine. You know, you were part of it, yeah." But so I don't know. There's this big feud, so he couldn't play certain songs or this or that. I don't know. They do hate each other though. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just it's it's just such a. It just seems like like I know the, the Eagles hate each other. Um, Chicago and Sticks, the lead singer, they none of them talk to each other. They just the big thing you, with Oasis. I didn't know they were that popular, oh, but now Jane's they're back Addiction? together. Yeah. Oh yeah, so the lead singer from Jane's Addiction, when he basically bumped into the, the guitarist and started trying to fight, start a fight with him on stage during a yeah, performance. Yeah, so, so Jane's Addiction, Perry Addiction Farrell, got yeah. together for Perry the first Farrell. time in like fifteen years. They're, they start their tour, their first show. They have a fight on stage. It's over. That's it wasn't their first show. I, th- I I thought it was their first show. No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. It was not the first show. It it, it had been building. It let it, it's been it would be, it's been building. Oh yeah, okay. Because he's been complaining that Perry Farrell's been complaining that the music on stage is too loud and it's drowning out his lyrics. So they've been feuding over that. They've been feuding about how loud oh, that yeah. the ge- your guitars and they, are too and they loud. Were saying, and, and, so stupid. Yeah, and and they were saying we're jacking it up because you sound like shit. So there's this whole uh, feud going on. He's drinking four bottles of wine and uh, <laughs> on and, stage. No, just like, like pregame a day. <sighs> wow, that's, that's be... allegedly they're saying like he's you know he's how hard would it be to sing so? I mean, you, I mean, what do you have? You, I mean, Jane's Addiction has to have what two hundred songs? No, I think they only put out like three albums. Okay, so two got, albums and then he did uh, they got thirty songs. Porno for Pyros was his next band. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. But okay, so you, so you got. 30 songs. If you're all fucked up, how do you remember the words to 30 songs? If you're well, wasted. That's what they, that was the complaint. He was mixing lyrics from different songs and all this other shit. And I don't know. It was weird. All right. I, I, I just, you know, I think of it because I think about Oasis, right? Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I love those Well, those guys. two brothers hate each other. Well, now they're back together. Gavin and, yeah. They're, 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 yeah. they're touring well, again. Well, the, I'm going to see the Black Crows uh, in two weeks. And, and the Robinson brothers didn't speak for 20 years. Like... Chris Robinson's brother, Rich, he, they each have like four or five kids, and Chris Robinson's kids were like, found out that they have cousins, like the exact same age as them. Wow. And, he's like, and they're like, you mean we have cousins? And he's like, yeah, I, yeah, you, yeah, you do. I, wait a minute, wait a minute. That. He hates his brother so much that they, they didn't did. even know they're, they had kids? No, they no, that he knew that they, he right. had kids. Right, but, but he the never, kids never even met? They never, they, well, now they're at that age where they're like, wait, we have cousins? Like first cousins? Dude. You know they never they they had no relationship for like how could the you better be, part. Of, how could you be in a band? I know, man. The, hey, listen, the, the same thing with with Fogarty, the Fogarty brothers. John Fogarty and his brother didn't speak for over twenty five years. Wow, had no relationship, and they they were the closest of brothers. And then they they made up on his deathbed when John Fogarty's brother died. It's it was not worth horrible, it. horrible. It's horrible. Not worth it. It's, not, it's crazy, right? Yeah. To think about, I mean, it's, wow. Yeah. I just I, I just try to think about like what's so awful. Like what 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 do they what do they really fight about? 
I mean, if it was yeah. just money I don't know. and there was tons of it, I, I get it. People fight over money. But man, if it's just like my music is too, you're, you're, yeah. you're playing too loud. And, I bet a lot of it is ego. I bet it is. Oh, well, I think uh, the Beatles broke up because of Yoko Ono. No, you know, that's that was not part true. of it. I don't, you know what though? That's I don't, true. I don't think it is. I, I think there was a lot of directions. Yeah. Like, you know, I think there's a lot of offers being made back and forth for people to do. No, I watched the whole doc. I watched the whole Let It Be thing and it was, it was, it's. And I, I mean, I, I've, I've read up on this. I read books on the Beatles thing. I know a lot about the Beatles. It, Yoko was was definitely like a thing, but she came on, you know, after they were already thinking about, you know, because I mean, you're talking about a band that started in like 1963, and and I, they were only a band for like seven years, six years. They broke up in 1969. I know, isn't that they crazy? They put out five it albums, is. and 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 you know, they were they were they didn't tour. They only toured for three years. They didn't. Tour, they stopped touring in like 1965. They never toured again. Now compare that really? to compare yeah. that to the Rolling Stones, who basically are almost touring to this day. It's pretty insane. <laughs> I, so listen, and I don't care what anybody says, but a seventy-five-year-old man singing. Yeah, you make, I, Mick, I Jag- just, Mick Jagger's current girlfriend's like thirty-eight or thirty-five. Whoa, whoa, they, just whoa, show, whoa. they just showed her. So he's a winner. You don't have to. <laughs> t- you don't have to tell me this. He's the guy's a winner. I okay. saw them in like nineteen ninety-eight, the Bridges of Babylon tour at Soldier Field, mm. and I thought they were old as shit back then. <laughs> and that was you know why you thought that? that was twenty-five years ago because they are they were no, they were my age. Yeah. He was my age. I was talking about the other day, and my buddy Matt, I'm like, I was at that concert in 98. He was 51. I'm 51 now. Mick Jagger, what do you say? He's 76? Uh, he's like in his 70s. He's or, in his 70s, or, or, yeah. or Upper 70s. How's Keith, how's Keith Richards still alive? That's all I want to know. <laughs> they need I, to, I don't they, think he's human. They, they need to take his DNA, because that's probably going to cure <laughs> cancer. Well, he's probably Co- impervious to everything. COVID, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's like patient zero. You got you to gotta find out what he's got. <laughs> so, patient zero. <laughs> he has it. to be. All right, um, a blast from the past. We haven't heard this name in a while. Jesse Smollett mm-hmm. has a new movie coming out. Oh, I thought he was canceled. No, no. So um, he he wrote it, directed it, produced it, starred in it. He has to. He, <laughs> yeah, has, <right>. to. <laughs> he has to. He has no choice. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's got a, a new movie coming out. Um, and so the, he's doing a press junket. And he's got to be he's got to be on yeah, there. like a promo tour, right? Right. Yeah. And and people are asking him questions, um, you know, based on the conviction and everything. And they're kind of throwing some, uh, it's kind of throwing some softball questions at him. I, I did hear this on the side note. I, I did read something about him the other day. It says he spent three million dollars out of his own pocket defending this hoax that he's claiming. You know, because obviously he's being accused. Right. You know, for people who don't have the background, he's obviously was accused of setting up a fake, you know, attack uh, attack. That was racially motivated. That it turned out he was about him and two Nigerian brothers were behind the whole thing, and I guess there was some homosexual aspect to it involved too. But I don't know, you know, whatever. No, was he sweet? Was he sleeping? Oh, because no, he's gay. there was a hate crime. He claimed. Yeah, yeah, no. But I'm saying, like b- behind the scenes, like the two brothers that he he, he was banging him. Like one a P. Of, Diddy maybe, thing? maybe one of them. <laughs> there it is. It's Jesse Smollett. I changed my pick. Not Jay Z. It's Jesse Smollett. Oh yeah, he's an A lister. Uh, I mean, was he popular at one point? No, um, it's on a TV show. No, I don't know. I have no idea. He was on, uh, um, his, Hall, yeah. his actual his actual uh, case is being reviewed by the Illinois Supreme Court right now. Um, but he did he did just like Ted said he said he spent three million dollars of his own money. Oh, I believe him. Okay, not um, <laughs> and and he says he's <laughs> innocent. The word he says. Well, he says he's innocent. Ask his mom, right? Yeah. And and, <laughs> and, and <Diddy's> mom. <laughs> and so he he was doing the interview, and I thought this is the greatest quote I've ever heard in my life. When someone asks you if you're guilty. Okay, because they asked, they said, oh, you know, with what everything happened, can you kind of explain it really quick? And, and this is his exact words. This is what he said to the interviewer. I'm a grown man, and something happened. Aren't we all guilty? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He is a grown man, and something happened. I can't tell exactly what did happen, but I can tell you what did not happen. Now watch my movie. You ready? That's what I have to sit on. No matter how much people are yelling in my face, you're a liar, you're a liar. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't want them to believe that. But if that's what they believe, that's on you. So he knows what happened. Okay? He should and he run can for tell you, him, and, him and God. And he can tell you what didn't happen. He didn't exactly tell us what didn't happen. No, no. But he did say... He can, no. He can. So, so, so this whole <laughs> rewriting of history is also happening with non-politicians now. Revisionist So history. we all know what happened. Well, we all... It all came out. It went to trial. We heard everyone's story. He's flip flop four fucking times, and now he's back to where he's not even saying anything. We all know what happened. Yeah, we all know what happened. Well, he's a grown man, and something. Happened. Something. Yeah. 
something happens. So that's, okay, happens. so that's what happens. He's a grown man. So now, <laughs> so, now we have, so I'm like, not a that? child. What's not the a, movie I am about? not a child. I'm not a child. And by the way, I was assaulted. Is the movie about two Nigerian guys, <laughs> brothers? That, <laughs> I want to know what the movie's about. It's like coming to America, <laughs> oh, except it, it has is, a darker twist on it. <laughs> um, it is, I believe, it is some sort of love story. It's called like Love Nation or Love Lost oh. or or I Love Subway. I have no idea what it's I called. I bet that's it's not, not going to do Lost. very well. It's it's something I don't I don't know what it is. But when I saw that, when he said, and it, again again. Something happened. I can't tell you exactly what ha- what did happen, but I know what didn't happen. I, I could tell you how he could become a multimillionaire and 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 make a movie on like a two hundred thousand dollar budget and make like fifty million. Just use the video from his. Make a comedy. Turn this whole thing into a fucking comedy uh-huh. starring him, like the Tanya Just Harding make thing. Make fun of it. Just go uh-huh. with it. Go with actually and go with like four different type of endings. Like the whole day leading like Clue, up, like that movie. The Clue? whole the whole day leading up to. That frigid night at whatever it was, two in the morning in Lincoln Park by DePaul University. And every, like, four four different scenarios of what actually happened. God, that would be funny. But Dude. in a comic, like, in, yes. a, in, a, in a comic setting. Dave Chappelle like had they, a really good skit on him. It he ends, and then they rewind it. Yeah, and they just start the day over again, and now, yeah. and then, like, some, yeah, they would be hilarious. But only he can do that, because otherwise he'll sue. Hopefully he's listening. Wow. Each time, get each here. time it ends, it's like a Groundhog Day, and it just starts over again. Right, it starts over again. And you're just Different. like, and you kind of fast forward, because right? you've yeah. seen those kind and, of and things, you right? Don't, they you get don't, to that you part. Don't, you don't say, here's what could have happened. You just roll with it. And then, you know, because he's a grown man. And then each time it's a <laughs> he little... Is, he is a grown right, man. And then a grown-ass man. Grown-ass man, right there. In each, in each right there. section, something, something slightly different happens. You're like... <gasps> Something different. That was because oh, it's related oh, oh, to what oh, happened during the day. So right. anything could because you're, 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 you're guessing like, oh, I know what's going to happen next because they just foreshadowed this. So there's like five different things that foreshadow throughout wow. the day, and then each time something different happens. See, this is why he's and good at the com- movie mentions. It should be a comedy though. It should Man. definitely be like a, a comedy level to it. That would be. It could be like it could be a cartoon, you know, like Chris Rock's cartoon. That could be the funniest goddamn thing I think I've ever seen yeah. in my yeah. life. Holy shit! So he's like, he's like basically he's the new Pete Rose, right? This is going to go on for the next twenty years. He's going to deny, deny, deny. Oh, Pete Rose got in the Hall of Fame yesterday. No, he did not. <laughs> yeah. I predicted like the next day. So he's did gonna, I. He's going to get in. That's what I oh, said. No, I, 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 I didn't realize how because I said I, I agreed with Mark that the day after he died, they'd announce he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. But then you think then then when it happened, I'm like, ooh, that'd be really cruel. They're like, going to be do the, it. you know yeah. he's getting in now. Well, no, they he's, they he's not around to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said that it's not a it's not a lifetime ban; it's a permanent ban. So uh, that's what they said. They said oh. they said, "Listen, he goes, he goes. Oh, now that he's passed away, are you going to let him in?" He goes, he goes. I didn't say it was a lifetime ban. He goes, MLB gave him a permanent ban, but I, I think you'll let it. You let they, it. They, die can re- down. they can rescind that. Yeah, well, they're they, not going to do they, it the yeah. next day. They'll probably you know yeah. the, the optics because they would look like, like like hypocrites if they put him in the next day. They'll probably wait like six months a year, right? Yeah, you know, maybe on the anniversary of when the Reds won the world, the Big Red Machine won the World Series, and oh by the way, Pete Rose. Upon further review, yeah. Let's put him in the hall. He, he, he was the hit king and the world's biggest jag off, and Mark murdered him by talking about it. <laughs> yeah. next, well, Mark, Mark's, next. A, Mark's a grown man. Yeah. So. I'm a grown ass man, I, man. I know, I know what happened. I know what I know what happened. happened. Yeah. I know what didn't happen. And oh. you know what didn't happen? Mark did kill Pete Rose. <laughs> <laughs> he did. All right. Um, before we get to Mark's movie mention, I want to mention this. Um, we all know Timothy Chalamet. Yes. Ted, any idea who that is? I heard the name, but just you remind me. Dune. Dune, that's Dune. Right. He was in Willy Wonka. He's in a better movie. What's better? Uh, the King. The King? Yeah, it's like three hours long, so you won't like it. No. Nope. So I, no. I got four days. Phenomenal I film. And I'm not, yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to mention it because I like the movie too much. It's just The, the King. King. Okay. It's got to it, be recent because he's young. No, it's 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 at least, at least five years did old. did as a fetus. Oh, we watched First Man. Oh, you did? Did you like it? Yeah, we did. Isn't he great in that movie? Yeah, it was great. Ryan Gosling. Yeah, it was, it was it's really amazing. good. Amazing, and, and 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 his wife that plays uh, uh, Armstrong's wife. Yeah, she's awesome, right? Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, that's a good movie. Really enjoyed Damn it. it. I'm gonna watch that. Okay, um, let's see. He just wrapped up a movie um, that, and I'm predicting it's gonna be next summer's blockbuster. Are you ready? And Mark, you will watch this. There's no doubt in my mind. It's set in the 1950s, and it is all about Marty Reisman who's basically the king of ping pong. Let that sink in. I just I said it was ping Forrest, pong. I thought Forrest Gump was I think I heard of that. I think I heard of that guy, Marty Reisman. 
Yeah. King of ping pong. Yeah. He's literally. Why does he have that ping label? Pong legend. Why? Because he's a fucking legend, man. What? Because he was good at the game, or I don't know. Who oh. gives a shit? It's ping pong. I would this assume is gonna be so. The worst movie. Do you think it's going to be the worst movie? What? How could you watch a movie set in the 1950s about a fucking ping pongist? A ping pongist. I, <laughs> I might. They're athletes, Matt. I like Timothy Chalamet. I, I like Timothy Chalamet also, but he's playing a ping pongist. Well, ping pong. There ping-ponger. must be some good well, just, story. Just, to just, 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 just send it to ping-ponger. just send it to China or Taiwan. And he'll get his ass kicked like either way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would make it out of round one, so it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I, yeah, right. I don't. I, I don't know <laughs> how it's going to win. I don't know. We'll have to see what the reviews look like. Oh man. Okay. I, I, Sometimes is it going to go straight to video? No, Maybe I, is it going to go get? Is going to be released in a movie theater? He, listen, I, this kid has made some really good choices for films, right? Yes. He's yeah. not taking he's very on, talented. Yeah, he's. I don't know. Yeah. He's not in like a movie every six months like some of these actors, right? Right. They're put, they're turning out a movie every year. You see an A lister. He's becoming one of these guys. Like I don't know. Oh, by the way, on a side note, Daniel Day Lewis, who seems to win an Academy Award or Oscar every time he plays a role, he, he was he was Lincoln. He was in uh, one they, of the most amazing yeah. movies I've ever seen. And I guess he's life. actually unretiring after seven years. <laughs> unretiring. And he just <laughs> didn't want to do yeah, anything. Yeah, he's just lazy. And then I guess, but he, he's I guess, just lazy. I, I, I guess his kid. <laughs> Whatever movie he's going to be in, his kid is directing him. He wrote he oh. wrote it with his son. Yeah. Ted, you've it's got a, you got more side notes right now. I'm keeping track of your it. side notes. That was number four. <laughs> By good. the way, Daniel Day Lewis, lazy, lazy, lazy. <laughs> lazy, piece of shit. There will be bl- think, there will be you know blood. What? I'm going to tell you right there now what I think. That is one of my. F- Jack is that gonna, the one? Um, uh, there will be blood. Yeah, that was a good movie. He's on the planes. He's, he's going to steal the oil because there's oil reserves under the house, no. under, under the, on the land. What's the one where he's uh, with the Indians and he's the uh, gangs uh, of Last New York? M- Last Mohicans. Last Mohicans. Oh, I don't yeah. remember that one. Man. He's won three Oscars. I could, Lincoln, I could honestly watch that movie. My Left Foot and what's the other one he won for? Oh, man. That is He great. was nominated like five or six times. He won three. Yeah. He's like a method actor. So once he gets into character, you know, he doesn't break character. That's and it's what kind I of annoying. Too. So yeah. I, guess, I guess that Jared Leto who played a who, who did a, t- a bad interpretation of the Joker, he's the same way. Like he'll just sit like if he's in I a wheelchair. He was really good as a Joker. Well, I heard he. he I, I heard the movie Joker 2 just came out and I heard that's, that's like that's a That's not dud. Jared Leto. No, but it's like a dud. Oh, no, it's Joaquin Phoenix, you know, because they're Joker. Yeah. Which honestly, I saw. I didn't see the whole movie, but look at the disdain I wasn't you have really, for people who. No, oh, he's a method no, no, actor. No, no, but I'm saying no. But I'm saying like everyone, Piece of shit. everyone shit all over themselves, know, like at, acting so... like Joaquin Phoenix did like the greatest thing ever. I saw like clips of that movie. I didn't think he was impressive at all. But you, you, know? you didn't the see Joker? the whole movie. Yeah, I grew up and I also with someone who's way crazier than that. I said, let me introduce you to the heavyweight fucking champ. <laughs> fucking batshit crazy, you. You're, you're a fucking amateur. <laughs> I thought the first Joker was a pretty good movie. I liked it. We're gonna go see the Joker two tomorrow. I, you ever I have been not gra- seen it. You ever been to Grand Central Station in the 1970s with the homeless people living in the bathrooms? No. Oh, yeah. Have you, Ted? <laughs> let me tell Ted, you something. Have you let be- me tell you something. The Joker. Ted, in the 1970s, you were, <laughs> s- what, five? Early 80s. Not, just late, said, se- late 70s, I, I, early 80s. I don't understand. Did you frequent the toilets <laughs> at Grand Central Station I as had, a child? I had to use the bathroom, and unfortunately, it was like being in a insane asylum. <laughs> That doesn't okay. sound like a Joker I, laugh right there. Did you, <laughs> yeah. did you not hear that? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix in that movie overrated, in my opinion. So, But well, hey, whatever. People love that but shit. You you know, a few minutes you it. saw it. But he no, saw I, saw, I it. saw enough of it. <laughs> I saw enough. You know what? I, I saw enough to make an informed <laughs> decision. And you're a grown ass man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I know what did happen, and I can tell you what didn't happen. Ted yeah. didn't see that movie. I can tell you I, that. I, I, I can, right. No, I can tell you what did happen. I got bored. I got bored shitless and fell asleep. So, Ted, you you were super drunk. Let's let's it, be honest. Yeah, <laughs> and that. If you haven't seen, we're talking about the other actor, Timothy uh, um, Chalamet. If you haven't seen The King, yeah, I just texted myself, I'll dude. It's right. I knew nothing about this movie. I, I think it's like at least five years old. Okay, because he was, but we didn't know anything about this movie. It was during COVID we watched it. So it was four years ago. Yeah. So I know it was older than that. When Kelly and I watched this movie, we were like, "Holy shit!" It's like, it's it's very surprisingly good. It's a sleeper, okay. man. Wait, can I ask you a question? But it is, I honestly, it is almost three hours long. I think that's like, that's like watching that's like, like in episodes. That's like Dances with Wolves or Waterworld long. <sighs> that's long. That's a long movie. You know what? It wasn't. It's a, it's wasn't, a, lot, wasn't, of a, ten, a lot of attention I, span I, there. I, I know. I know people badmouth Dances with Wolves. But that's one, one of my, my favorite. I movies. love no, that. I, know, I love yeah, the it was movie. Great movie. No, I'm just. I'm just quoting that in terms well, of just, just the, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And actually, the, the biggest duds. Was that Kevin Costner? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I saw. Okay. I saw both. It was like Mad Max. Well, I saw. I saw Dance with Wolves in the theater, and there was an intermission. 
And Titanic, when I saw Titanic in the theater, there was an intermission sure. for Titanic. I saw it in, at Rainhurst Mall. Well, there actually, was an intermission. Actually, I, I could see that. Your average Indian movie, which are very well made, by the way, uh, there's a, there, there's always an intermission. There's like about a 10-minute intermission, so you get up and you come. And yeah, so that's actually pretty common. It's like standard operating procedure huh. like with, those, with those. Well, like those Native there, Americans? Like no, no, like, the range, like, in, like India. Long range. Like, long range like India. actually from by, India. By the way, India. like Bollywood-ish yeah. Again, movies. We know so. Bollywood is that a racist That you're not term. supposed to say Okay, well. It's a racist term. Right. I, there, I, no. It can't be. It is. Can you we say talked it if, about this. Can you say it if you're Indian? Because I, I I've had know. two Indian customers tell me, I, use I, that phrase. I think it becomes, I think it. Be, I think it's such a standard term that you you don't get the... The, the connotation? The connotation. What is the connotation to it? Though? I don't know. Like, I, I, don't I, get I, either, I told I mean, you, I, I looked this up. I, I was talking to a, a person. Because they're talking about Bali, get, right? Bali, and they're saying Bollywood instead of... I think it's the concept that it's it's Indian Hollywood. And that's kind of a the racist concept because I was trying to get there, there's a there's two female actresses that are like the biggest actresses of all time in in India right now they're just like they make more money oh maybe like, I mentioned one of those movies like the stuff that the stuff that, big, that people make here is India. ridiculous compared to what they make and I was trying to get one or both of them on the show and it was just it just wasn't ever yeah. going to happen what's, what's, what's the big the, the big but, Indian but actor's it was name? interesting cuz I, I i said something and i got a response that what what i had said yeah. in bollywood was was not it's not what things not, it's who, the way yeah. things are said who's, who's the big guy in india he's he's, he's older now so he's probably going to retire Khan, i believe Khan, yeah Khan. that guy's like the number one he's kind of like it's the, unbelievable. he's, he's like, like the Brad Pitt George Clooney all rolled in the one he's like in everything it's crazy yeah, yeah. I, I tell you right now those those movies are fucking great if, yeah, they're if great you movies. get a chance and the dancing and singing part yeah. too you don't expect the, that the dancing and the singing there, there's two people that are literally are trying to murder each other they will stop <laughs> they will stop like at some point in the movie cuz there's three or four giant they will stop killing, trying to kill each other, and they will dance together. With the whole, with, with the whole, like with the whole, with the whole village, the whole village. <laughs> Everyone, there's hundreds perfectly of people dancing, coordinate, perfectly and coordinated. the two people are like dance fighting, and they're doing, and like it's amazing, we, like a West Side Story. Yes, it's amazing. It's, Everything's a West Side Story there, but it's it, it's just so awesome. It I've really seen is. a few of them. They're just yeah. amazing. They're they really are. Literally amazing, and then have some biryani during your break, which is the which is the spicy uh, chicken or um, uh, and, ri- and rice. Ooh, that's good stuff. Mm. With a little yogurt sauce. Ooh. Oh my god, I don't know what to do right now. Sometimes, sometimes when Ted talks, I I, I don't know whether I I want to I want to run away or make him run away. I just honestly don't know. Okay, uh, it's time for Mark's movie mentions. Uh, Mark's movie mentions are brought to you by Simon's spatulas, the best spatulas in the world. If you need a spatula. You have to go to simonspatulas.com. Hmm. He's online now, huh? Yes. He closed oh. that story at Park it, Ridge. You're talking about the greatest spatulas. I mean, it, I mean I've been in the store many times. Yeah. I didn't know it even closed. It's fucking amazing. Absolutely. I mean, I had a, I, I tell you right now, I had a blue one, a blue spatula. It was amazing. And the black one that was just like it, but it was black instead of blue. Oh, my God. Do you buy the one with holes in it so you can for spanking purposes? So you can whistle through the air? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Love it. All right, what do you got for us? So the movie I want to mention today is from 2016. I'm out. It's called Captain Fantastic. <gasps> and it's starring Viggo Mortensen. Wait. Is this a superhero movie? No. Oh, fuck you then. Okay. I mean, um, but ahead. it is but it is it is two hours long, so you're not gonna see it. It's a comedy drama is what I can understand. I haven't seen I think it's a comedy drama. But it's also co starring uh Catherine Hahn, uh Frank uh Langella, who you you'd recognize him if you've seen him and Steve, He played uh, he played Dracula Dr- Dracula back in the day. Yeah, yeah, he was he like did a the the first modern version of Dracula, no, I think like in the eighties. Frank Langella. Oh, oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm back sorry, 80s, you are yeah. right. Yeah. 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 Um, and then Steve Zahn's all, Steve, uh, Steven Zahn is also in it. Love Steven Zahn. Yeah, he's he fucking is, great, too. Dude, he is hilarious. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah. Um, so it's written and directed by uh, Matt Ross. So, so it's it's a movie about a family of six, a husband and wife have six children, like ages six to 20, and they are living off the grid. They're totally like left, left-wingist, uh, and they live on a large plot of land in, in, in the state of Washington, like a forest or a mountain range, um, and they're, they're teaching their kids to be like uh you know self-reliant off the land um they're extremely intelligent they're educating them they they're 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 like way more educated than your average citizen um the mom gets sick she's in the, she has to go to a hospital um in New Mexico by her parents who are wealthy and so the I don't want to give a lot away so 
basically uh, travel ensues and the plot thickens. Okay, that's I'll put it that way. So there's twists and turns. <laughs> honestly, so there's twists and turns and, and really there's creative. Traveling? It, yeah, it's travel ensues. That's what I always Ooh. say. Travel ensues and the plot thickens. So there's twists and turns and really creative events happen once they leave Washington for New Mexico. Um, so wait, so if they're living off the grid, is it like weird? No, Do they have like weird? Are they like weird, like furry? No. Um, hairy, no, like, no. Is it like Nell? No. Glip, glop, glur, glur, glur. No, 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 no. So, Are they uh, Wookiees from Star Wars? <laughs> no. So, uh, Nell was kind of a Wookiee. So Viggo Mortensen's character is, uh, is and his wife, they're... They're they're just really smart, but they decided that this is how they want to live. They don't want to. They have they have certain values, and this is what they how they want to raise their children. So there's not a lot of tech. There's no technology, um, and you know they go to town. They get sometimes supplies what they need. So they Amish? It. No, but it's sort of in that in that realm. Um, the kids are amazing. though. they're really intelligent. They're self reliant. They're physically fit. They don't eat any like sugar, or any of that bullshit. Um, and there's no modern tech, but they go into town for basic needs, like I said. So they don't, they do know about the world and things like that. And some of the kids are older, like I think the oldest is like 20 years old. So um, socially, they're, they don't have a lot of strong skills outside the family unit because they don't go to school or anything. It's Captain Fantastic. I don't know if you've seen it, Jackie. I haven't. With Viggo Mortensen. Okay. Sounds good though. Um, it's really good. It's 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 like I said. There's a lot of twists and turns. Um, it's like a, it's a tearjerker at some point. It's an eye opener. It's very thoughtful. It's very funny. Um, the story develops really quickly, and I don't want to give it too much away. And it's it's really enjoyable to watch as it contains uh, as it continues to evolve all the way to the end. Really, um, I highly recommend it. It was a five million dollar budget. It made twenty three million to box office. Um, I think you could stream it anywhere. I, I don't remember what platform I saw it. On, I, I watched it on, um, but it's readily available. It's kind of a sleeper film. It didn't get a lot of press or publicity that I recall. Um, we saw a preview and then we watched it, and I, I think it's a really good movie. It's it's not a perfect movie because there is some. I mean, some people did take issue with some of the things in it, but I think the story itself is is, is fucking awesome, and it's it's a really it's a it's a good movie. I really 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 like this movie. And, and has Viggo Mortensen ever been in a bad movie? No, no. The son of a bitch is amazing. He is, and, and there's, he's just he's really there's, choosy about what he isn't picks. he like a Lord of the Rings? This is one of those Lord of the yeah, Rings yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and he, he took said, on he took on that role, uh, like a day before they started filming. Like the, I think the lead dropped out or something happened. You talking about wow. this film? No, no, no. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Like they had somebody else pegged to play that role, and they called him like last minute or something like that, and it changed his life. And he talks about it. It, it was it, it just changed every uh, the direction of everything. Once that happened, he got like you know nonstop. He could pick any movie he wanted to be in. It is. I mean, those are pretty amazing movies. Yeah, he's I, he, I, is, he is one of my. He is my like. We were talking about great actors uh, with uh, uh, what's his name, um, and I think he, this is for me. He is second to none. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's so awesome. Captain Fantastic, two thousand sixteen, two hours long, comedy drama, um, and those two words together, it couldn't be any more perfect to describe it. Now that I think about it, because it there are some really funny parts. Um, there's some real drama in it. And you know the drama is going to make you cry. The comedy is very, very original, and it, a lot of it plays on the fact that the kids are socially awkward, and now they leave, you know, the forest and make a trip to New Mexico. So they stop at a diner. It's fucking. And they Viggo probably Morton's, don't know how to order food or well, anything. Well, they, like... they they kind of do. That. I mean, they're not like it's not weird. It's just you you have to. See. I mean, it's just. Hmm? It's Sounds enjoyable. It's not like Encino Man. No, it's not. <laughs> it isn't weird because right away you get the feel for what uh, how he wants to raise the kids, and it all makes sense. It's like, yeah, you know, they don't eat sugar. They, they, you know, but there's it's great, and it's great when they meet their aunt um, and uncle, like Catherine Hahn and Steve Zahner, Zahner in it. So they make a stop there on the way to go to New Mexico. Um, so it's cool. I, I highly recommend it. Captain Fantastic, check it out. And Steve Zahn, I'm trying to think of like what things he, he was in a movie with Matthew McConaughey. Wasn't yeah, he's like been a, in a lot. He he's been cop, in Saving, saving Silverman. Like, yeah. He's been in, oh, in yeah. all the Captain Underpants movies. Uh, he played a dad in all those. Dad, movies. I don't. I'm, I'm an adult man. I. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? I'm a grown just man? saying. It, <laughs> Steve's I'm a, gr- on, I'm a grown I'm, man. I'll tell you right I now. Know what happened? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm going to make and a what guess. What didn't here. happen is I didn't watch those movies. Steve Zahn, I think, has been in probably 100 movies. Oh yeah. I think he's been in 100 movies. That's. I mean, that guy. He's played some some character roles. You know, some supportive roles. He's had more starring roles, but yeah, he's been in a ton of movies, man. Yeah, no, I, I agree. All right, um, this this man, this has blown my mind. Do you guys read about the guy who um, 
he he was in Texas, a little little city in Texas, um, and he there was an uh, an auction, and he spent four thousand dollars on a guitar that Taylor Swift bought. Do you guys hear the story? I or did. Taylor yeah. Swift played. I heard the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so he bought the he bought the guitar, and Ted knows if he's heard the story that he he walks up and he asks someone for a hammer. And when he he spends four thousand dollars on this thing, right? He, and he's about I'm going to say he's in his sixties, right? He's got to be fifties or sixties. Yeah, 60s. I saw him. He's, he's like he's like a yeah. He's, okay. he's like, old. Yeah, he's, he's late fifties, early sixties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, so not, he, he's, yeah. He, he takes this little hammer and, and he and he says, "Oh, I'm going to hit this," and he and he hits it a couple times, right? And then he stops and he, he grabs the he grabs the guitar and people are just like, I, I, "I don't understand what 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 happened." I could tell you before I'm going to interrupt you. He did it because. You're not allowed to vote for somebody that he doesn't want you to vote for. That well, would be my guess. Too. Okay, so so yeah, it was a statement. Like he's like, she's voting for the wrong person. Fuck her. She endorsed Kamala Harris. Right. Yeah, that's right. is that crazy? That's and the Ma- world we live Maga in. Maga Nation, who he might be a representative of, unfortunately took umbrage to that. So he figured right. if he breaks, so now this country is you're not Ted, like Ted said. You, you you can't you can't vote for the other person, but you have to vote for who who other people want you it's to vote for. Breaking the guitar is symbolic. Yeah. for something else. But he didn't actually break it. He just hit oh. it a couple times. Oh, like, I thought he smashed very it. Gently. I thought he smashed no, it. I thought, nope. I saw no, the no, video. No. He did. He, he did. Uh, no, I thought break. he smashed smash, the pieces. At no point did he smash it. Oh. No, not the pieces, but he did break it. I, I, the hammer hit it pretty hard. I, I thought it cracked. It's, it's in. It's in perfect. The, the the guitar is in perfect condition. Okay. And because he did that to it in that symbolic act, like Ted said, he just auctioned it for eight grand. Right. He's a hypocrite. Nope. No, I'm just kidding. Nope. See, and that's where you fall into the trick, and that's exactly what he wanted you to think. Okay. Right, because he said um, that that he did it because uh, Taylor Swift was backing Kamala Harris and not Donald Trump. But here's the real truth. So I had to find out to make sure, and that's why I held on to the story because it happened a couple weeks ago, and I want to make sure. Here's the deal. I'll tell you why he did that, and I'll tell you why he said that, and I'll tell you why that guitar is in a the most pristine place in his house. A fake job. He is a senior Swifty, I guarantee it. And that he was once he got he got so excited, he spent four thousand dollars on this thing. You don't spend four thousand dollars on something you're gonna smash with a hammer. You don't spend four thousand dollars on something like that. He did it, he got excited about it, that he had a Taylor Swift guitar, and then he realized that all of his friends in his little town were gonna see him walk up there. With half a heart on, with the biggest gate, so excited, and he realized he had to do something to make it look like he wasn't a Swifty. Huh. This is your theory. That listen, that I could I absolutely I'll tell you right now, if you go to his house, that thing is like hermetically sealed <laughs> in a fucking perfect whatever glass case. In a special place in his house, Lucite. I, I, yeah, Lucite. <laughs> I don't buy one second that he ever meant to do anything to it. And if he did wreck it, I guarantee you, he spent the money to fix it. He faked. Everybody I mean, I've out. seen a lot of like, like bands Juicy break Sm- their like Juicy guitars. Smollett. <laughs> a lot of so basically, he's the he's he's the modern day version of Juicy Smollett. Yeah, but does you Juicy? Saw... Juicy. <laughs> Jesse, it's Juicy Smollett. Well, you know, that's, that's like the, only the only reason I brought the story up was to hear him say that. In fact, I was pissed off he didn't say that until right now. He can't say saw... he can't pronounce Jesse. No, that's the way he does. It's not it. Jesse Smollett. It's Juicy Smollett. Mark, that's the only reason I brought that story up. I didn't even care about Jesse Smollett. I wanted him to say that, <laughs> and I win. But you saw you saw Taylor Swift. She doesn't smash her guitars. No, no, no. I'm telling you right now, this guy did a fake job. Well, I'm just saying. I think it's pretty easy to break a guitar. People do it all the time on stage. Like it can't be that hard. If he just take it by the handle and smash but it, it was into a the tiny floor. little hammer. It was what? not so he obviously not like a little like little tykes hammer. Yes, like <laughs> yes, he did not. Listen, I'm telling you right now, whatever any damage he did to that guitar, he had it fixed professionally for whatever it cost. He. Faked. He looked. He walked up. He. Have you ever got carried away, and you're just like, oh man. And then you realize everybody knows that. Oh man. Okay. I just let I, the cat I, out of the bag. We get it. We get yeah. it. Is that awesome? Well, well, it worked. He obviously <laughs> got a lot of publicity out of it, right? He, yeah. he got his 15 minutes. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. No, I just, I just think it's cool that he would do that. He I probably has granddaughters, and I hope they hate him. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, if you had like a twelve-year-old granddaughter and, and, and Grandpa bought that guitar and he did that, and they'd be like, 
Why would you do that? We Why worship. Why would you do that? We love her. Yeah. Oh man, that is. She's <laughs> voting for the wrong person. I, I and it's pronounced guitar. <laughs> all a fake job. Drinking the wrong H two O. It must be somewhere with your medulla. Oh my god. Uh, all right. Um. It's obviously election season, and I found the greatest story about elections in the history of stories. You guys ready for this? Sure. Man, there's a lot of greats here. Yeah. Greatest ever. No, this is the greatest. Gr- greatest ever. Greatest quote for being. That was know, the greatest quote go- ever. I'm a grown ass man, and I know what happened, and I know what didn't happen. Mm, right. That's a great story. That's a great I quote. can tell you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to, but I could. Right. Okay. Um, Idaho. Year debate. Ago. Debate in beautiful Idaho. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, they had to get to know your um, politicians, um, kind of like debate, talk in Idaho uh, between a couple of Democrats and a couple of Republicans. Um, there was a dude, um, the actual Idaho Republican Senator Dan Foreman, and then three ladies um, who were looking to take his spot, okay, and a couple other spots. And um, <clears throat> Danny Boy did not do well in the debate. Mm. Yeah. What, what do you think you could do? Just out of curiosity, if you were in a debate, what, what are some things you could do? Now, with you mind you, I, I set it up again. Two Republicans, two Democrats, uh, three ladies. Um, you're in Idaho, and you're the sitting senator. What, could, what are some things you guys think you could do to fuck this I, up? I would just say the most obvious thing is you just freeze on the debate stage, and you just kind of just staying there with a blank stare and lose your train of thought. That would be like the number Excellent. one thing. That, if that's the worst thing that happened to Danny Boy, he'd be Well, what did, all is okay a response right to a question? Um, or is it a word he used? Is it I'm a guessing word? he said something derogatory hint. about women. Uh, maybe, maybe. But what's the worst? I mean, if you were there, Teddy's right. I mean, Teddy said freeze up. Just to, if you straight well, froze so you up, that would be want us to tell bad. you something that he didn't do. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get you. I'm asking you if you were on a debate. Cuss. Okay. Like swear. Swearing. Okay. Use foul maybe language he said he or was offensive gay. language. How would, uh, I guess in Idaho. in Idaho. In Idaho, that might, that might actually be kind of bad. Okay. Um, so here's how he sets it up. Okay, one of the ladies is Native American. Um, she is from the Nez Pierce tribe. Her name is Trish Goodhart. Good Trish Carter Goodhart. Okay? okay, she's a Democrat. She's actually running against, straight up running against. And again, this is just to get to know your yeah. uh, your politicians. She's straight up running against um, the sitting senator Dan Foreman. Okay, um, she says that she she's they're going back and forth and kind of talking to each other, and she says. Um, I want to ask you some questions about uh, racism in the state of Idaho. Wait, who asked her? No, she asked the senator. Sitting they're asking senator. it themselves? Yeah, okay. they're kind of talking back and forth. And she said, listen, there's, there's a lot of racism in the state of Idaho. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and Danny Boy, um, he said that, um, that, he said, no, he's never seen any racism. None. He's never, in Idaho. never, ever seen it. He's never seen any racism in Idaho. He's lived there for a long time. And here's a fun fact. He's from Illinois. Yeah, he's a senator in Idaho, but he's from Illinois. He's actually from Lake Forest. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so not, right, I mean, a suburb of Chicago that's really close to us, right? He went out there and he's living there. And then um it's a very rich suburb. Very, very rich. rich. Very yes. Chicago yes. suburb. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um so uh Miss Carter Goodhart, she said, um just because um racism isn't happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening Everywhere or somewhere or or to anywhere. somebody else or to somebody else. Right. Okay, what do you think, Danny Boy did? I know what he did. I'm not going to say. Captain but... Ding Dong. What did Captain Ding Dong do? He said, "Go back where you came from." Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Oh yeah. Oh, well, okay. But I, she's I, Native I, American. I, I saw that article. So 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 this is what he does. At this point now, after she says, "Just because it's not happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening," he starts screaming at her. Okay. He is literally screaming. And by so the way, his compo- actually, that's the that's actually the worst thing. Lose your composure on the debate stage and let the real you come out. Right. And that's what happened. Okay. And so he starts screaming at her, and he says, "You ready? Hmm. Idaho doesn't have racism. It doesn't exist. Idaho is the least racist state in the entire United States. Really? Wow. And, Amazing. And if she thinks Idaho is such a shitty place, she can just go back where she came from, and then." He dro- Mike drops, walks off the stage. Oh my gosh! Bam! That's awesome. Mm. Uh, can you yeah. get more ironic 
than that town right. of an, an indigenous person to go back where they came from right. when they're in the area. No, actually, they're they're actually from her. They're the, na- the original Native American exactly. Indian. So actually, she is already the, back where uh, she hang came on, from. Hang on, hang yeah. on. Let me just back this up. What, is, what do you think I just said? <laughs> That's what he, he just exactly. said. What do you think I just said? You said something that was similar to what I was thinking. I just, I said, came out I said it's ironic that he said that to an indigenous person yes. that is from that exact area. Then you jumped in and said, oh, you know what's funny about it is? Native Americans are actually from here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, so we both, we both, so we both, we no, both, we both, we both took different no, no. paths. No, we did not. to get to the same conclusion. No, you just Mark. repeated it exactly was just what Mark the same said. thing. Oh, <laughs> some Joe Biden. I just plagiarized something. Okay, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Okay, that's no, no big deal. It didn't stop him from being the president, right? So obviously, it's a nothing burger. How did you just turn us even more political? <laughs> I, I have no idea. I honestly have no idea. And the funniest part well, was well, that's great because he just showed his true colors. That was perfect. Right. So, so the the best part was is that when they interviewed, um, uh, Goodhart. Afterwards, she said she literally grew up four miles from the auditorium they're standing in. So she didn't know exactly how she was going to get there, but she said it would be easy to get there. Okay, she could just Fantastic. walk there. Yeah. Now, now this is the best part about this. Okay, so he storms off, and uh, so I, I'm doing some research on this, and I find out that he he literally wherever he's at, if someone like says something different, where if he's on the street, wherever he is, he just he's a screamer and a swearer. Uh-huh. He just goes crazy. So this is just. The way he does things, he got that night. He went back home after walking off the stage, and the, the, the debate went on for like twenty more minutes. He got on Facebook, and he said he let everyone know that what he said wasn't racist at all. That is actually one of the most racist things you could say without uh, uh, being specifically racist, telling somebody to go back where they came from. There's nothing. That's the most racist thing you could. Uh-huh. It, it is because it encompasses basically. You can offend everybody with that statement. It doesn't matter. Right. Uh, black, white, Hispanic, uh, Asian, uh, a- a- any ethnicity, then when you tell them to go back where you came from, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, and number. I guess anything goes in, in, you could say anything in Idaho because there's no racism. So Zero. What, he's, what he's saying isn't racist at all. And, dude, when I, when I read this, and I guess they called security because this guy's such a nut job that they were afraid that he was going to come back and do something really, really crazy. I mean, man, and here's the thing. He's the sitting senator in Idaho. I mean, how do you vote for that? Yeah, that's a- yeah he's a senator, which is actually a little bit above the uh, higher up the food chain than a congressperson, right? You hate to say it, because senators are kind of a coveted position. A state senator, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Ted, I, I, so. I, I Listen, there is... Well, there they're is, both part of the state house, but yeah, yeah I think... Uh, yeah, there's less of them, right? I think Ted's right. Yeah. Yeah, every... Oh, yeah. every, yeah. every Congress has two representatives from every state, and I think the Senate, that's why there are only 60 senators. Is he like the senator that goes to Washington, D.C.? He's not like a state senator. There's like state Wait, senators. Are there 50 states? Yeah. Today there times are. two is are 100. There, are there 50? Wait, there's 100. Wait, I forgot. Yeah, so there's 100 senators. But there's like 437 <sighs> Congress people. I'm sorry. Well, no, he's a state senator, yeah. so he's not. No, they, like, don't go, they don't travel. The state, there's like 465 state reps. Yeah. And I believe there's a hundred senators, right? But is he one of the hundred senators that actually goes to yeah. Washington? Okay, yeah. so he's yeah. he's kind of well, he was a big deal until he just canceled himself, I suppose. I don't know. Do you think is that cancelable? I mean, is are the people who voted for him going to unvote for him? Probably not. I mean, I know I would. Yeah. I, I just it, that seems out of control. I mean, there's people in Congress right now that I mean, you, you could you know, de- they it's debatable, but they seem to hold anti-American views, but they keep get vote, voted in by their constituents who unfortunately seem to hold anti-American views as well. So true. Yeah. yeah so, but I I think I mean I I just think that him saying that to her is not the most offensive thing. The most offensive thing is is actually denying that there is zero. To, yeah. To say that. To say that everybody knows that that's impossible. His quote, the least racist state in the United States. By population. Hmm. <laughs> How many people live in Iowa? Idaho. Idaho. 38. What's, isn't it the least populated state in the, in the Union? Was it south, one of the, somewhere out in the Midwest? I'm guessing South Dakota, North Dakota, Idaho, Wyoming. I mean, Wyoming, Wyoming yeah. maybe. Yeah. I mean, they're all, they're, there's all, I mean, there's a lot of empty space there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, dude, that's a, I mean, and then just, you just walked off. I mean, you can't do anything really. He's, he did everything you needed to do. He did it. To fuck things up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I was figuring. Well, you will probably still get reelected. You know what the scary part is? I honestly believe that he will. I mean, I I mean, I looked him up. He's he's pretty much what everybody How many votes does he wants. need? 
Uh, I think you have to get half the votes of everybody in Idaho to win, so I think he needs 214 votes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. All right, um, you guys, before we go, you guys want to do some true crime? Of course. Yes. Teddy? Yeah, let's do it. What's up? Mark, you want some true crime? I've already been outvoted. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> That's you know what? He was silent. And you know what? And there's no racism here. No, zero. Zero. This is the least racist podcast in America. Oh, man. No? Look at Mark is doing. Don't say that. Okay. Uh-huh. It's the fourth. No, it's it, it, it's the fourth least. Ra- <laughs> well, we're behind the cheese podcast. <laughs> Dude, what they, some of the shit they say is out of control. Okay. Um, this is a crime of, are you ready? Love, betrayal, revenge. I will tell you horrific cruelty and more stupidity than a Kentucky family reunion. This is the one you told us to read. You <laughs> yes, sent all of us this to yes, read. I did. This is, this I, I didn't is all read of it. them. I didn't read it. Oh. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't read it. Because when I read stuff you send us that you're going to talk about on the show, even though you don't tell us you're going to talk about it on the show, I kind of feel like you're going to talk about it on the show. I don't want to know anything about it. Oh, then you're per- this is perfect. I yeah, actually, so, I actually uh, if it's the one you sent earlier today, I actually read it a, a few days ago. So I actually saw it, the, the one, the, see, the Romeoville one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I read it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. This is pretty cool. Okay. It's the oldest story in the world, okay? Um, guy's engaged. He messes around with a woman at work, and the guy's fiance finds out. So there you go. That's it. Two crimes. Nice. Did you read about that, Jackie? I, I mean, I read it when he sent it. Okay. Yeah. So, all right, yeah. final thoughts. So, so there you go. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> That's it. This seems. Mark, no, you're th- first. <laughs> this, listen, this seems pretty straightforward, right? Guys, guys engaged to be married. He no, fools around, and his, his fiance finds no, out. That's it. So what I heard was that the guy, he's working somewhere, whatever the job is, and then he has an affair with, with a mar- with a mar- with. no, with, yeah, with a, she's yeah, but she's married. Yeah, and then at some point, and I, I wasn't clear if he was already engaged to somebody else, but so he was. Yeah, but so at some point, the woman who he's working with, her husband finds out nope. about it. No, no, other way around. Other his way around. wife finds out. His, his fiance. fiance. Oh, the guy's fiance so, finds out. So the guy, the guy messes around with a girl at work, right? And his fiance finds out about his it. His fiance. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Now, you would figure she's got two choices, right? Either, you know, you, you, you work it out, or you move on. Yeah, just dump him. Right. Right. One of the but two a, things. A, a, and and right? then, and then the relationship's not an option. Right. Ending the relationship. Okay. Yeah. You 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 yeah. either That's you either no the affair him. the yeah. affair I'm saying. What do you mean? He could end his affair. Right, right. He could, could end his affair and they could work it out. Yeah, right. Okay. Or or his fiance just says, I, I don't want to be part of that. Yeah. You're out. And just on a side note, what I think they're, I think he was only like 34 and she's like 50, the fiance. So, so it was. Yeah, there's, a, there's a big age gap there. Yeah. So, so yeah. he, yeah, he's a younger guy. Yeah. She's an older woman. So, so, you know, a little cradle robbery. So she could tell him what to do. She's probably telling him what to he's do. He's probably manipulating. You know what? You know what? You know what he should do? No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do anything anymore. Yeah. He, he, he don't exist no more. No. But he doesn't? She killed him? Wait, just wait. wait, wait. Oh. Just wait. Okay, so mm-hmm. anything can happen at this point. And, and like you said, uh, reconcile, leave. His his fiance takes just a little bit different step to it, okay? She wants revenge, okay? Oldest, oldest uh, thing in the book, right? Oldest thing in the book, right? So she comes up with a plan. And I'm going to tell you this plan, and this is real, it's all happened. It's legit. They, the cops have every copy of everything that's happened here. This is real. If this was a movie, you would turn it off, Mark. You, you would, would. You would okay. turn it off because it's you wouldn't too this. stupid. It, you would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Step one. She creates some Facebook fake Facebook accounts of a Mexican, and this is weird, Bulgarian drug cartel. Yeah. Well, what's Mexican and Bulgarian? Right. Now, so it's got like a Butch Cassidy and Sundance kid feel to it. And okay. uh, I don't know, Bulgaria. By the way, I <laughs> yeah. had to look this up. I don't know if you guys know this. Bulgaria is just north of Greece. It is approximately 7,000. Oh, I was thinking, I was 7, thinking of Bolivia. I was thinking of Bolivia. Right, right. She was probably thinking of Bolivia, too. Right. Didn't we get that confused on a show before? <laughs> we did. We were talking about <laughs> oh, Bulgaria and Bolivia. A, you right. got a lot yeah. of right. emails about That's that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Which she, Cassie was going to Bolivia. So she, she set up this <laughs> thing. She set up this thing, right, of a Mexican-Bulgarian drug cartel. And, ready, contacts her boyfriend or her fiancé and the woman he cheated with and says, we know that you guys were fooling around. We know that you guys were having sex. 
We know everything. <clears throat> okay. So I want you to think about that. This guy gets an email from a Mexican and Bolivian or Bulgarian drug cartel that says, we know that you're sleeping with this woman. Because <laughs> that's what they're concerned yeah, with. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me, so they're not worried about their multi-billion dollar drug no. trade. They're worried about who this guy's laying the pipe to. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> right, right. Now, when you get this email, you basically have two choices in your life, right? You're, you're thinking two things. Okay. Spam. Delete the email. Yes. <laughs> and put it to the junk spam in the junk spam yes. folder. No, 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 no. You're thinking this. Why does anybody in a Mexican Bulgarian drug cartel care about whom I'm banging? Right? That's your first thought. Your second thought is my girlfriend found out I'm busted. Yeah. That's it. Those are the so only wait, yeah. there there's no world where you think this is absolutely true. Why? But hold on a second. <laughs> I'm so confused. Did he already kill her? Did no, she already kill no one him? is dead. Yeah. No. No one is dead. So Everyone is alive. Caught. Who sent the email to who? She sent the email to who? His fiance sent the email to him, the guy who was cheating, her boyfriend, and the girl he was cheating with. Okay. Okay. So this is her plan. And she said she's from a Mexican, Bulgarian oh, I got drug that cartel. Okay, so she sent And email. she knows that the two of them were having sex. Okay. So he has no idea that this is from his fiance. No idea. Okay. Yeah, zero idea. So then he, he, so he, Calls her and says, did you get this email too? Or I got an email from this. I'm sure. And she's like, I got the same email. Right. And right. what was her goal? So she's got a goal. She wants revenge. I know. So, I mean, you know what's going to happen, right? No. <laughs> you have no idea what's going to happen here. Not the way you're telling the story. I'm so confused. Okay. I'll slow down for well, you. The Mexican Bulgarian cartel <laughs> said, we know you're having an affair. Can right. I, can I, can I so, jump in? Because I read the story. I mean, I'm, I'm going by memory. I don't want to steal your thunder. Right. Okay, so so what happened was, I'm going to speed up the version here. So basically, like, I didn't catch that part there in the story. But so long story short, yeah. So the fiancé, under the guise of you know, acting like a Mexican Bulgarian cartel, which, of course, is absurd anyway. <laughs> it's absurd. And that And that any n- normal, rational wait, person... Wait, that, that that is pissed off would, that he's having would, sex yeah, with some random would, woman. Yeah, somehow he believes this entire thing, and then it metastasizes into her convincing... Him, the fiance, convincing the guy that the woman he's having an affair with is somehow a mole for the cartel, and she's going to rat him out or something. Unless you eliminate her and her family members, children, including her children. So I'll let so you pick up. From that's there, yeah. that's yeah. No, so that's yeah. it, right? So, so she, she convinces him to her go over there idiot boyfriend. Yeah. She convinces her idiot boyfriend that the woman he was having sex with is part of the drug cartel. And that she's going to kill him if he doesn't kill her first. Okay. And, and her whole family. Not only her, her husband and her two kids. Okay. Okay? So I want you to think about how stupid. I don't need to think about you it. You have to be. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Just think about how stupid you have to be <laughs> to Think do about this. it, Mark. So he did it. Now, here's the best part. This is where it gets even better. He tells his girlfriend, he tells his fiance, I need a ride to go kill these people. Now, she's obviously, she's the one doing this whole thing. She's come up with this whole plot, which is crazy. But she, but she has to pretend that she doesn't know anything. She has to pretend she doesn't know anything. And then she says, yes, I'll drive you there and back. So she now becomes an accomplice to the murder that he's doing. And all of this is so that she can get her boyfriend to kill the woman that he was having sex with. Okay. I know. <sighs> It doesn't make any sense to me at no, all. But it's you're accident. trying to you're trying to of course it doesn't make any sense. Because you're half intelligent. Any half intelligent person would look at this and say, This is the stupidest thing ever. Right. They're not that smart. Oh, who's they? Both of them. <laughs> Those her people. and him. Her <laughs> for, for, for coming up with this plan and him for following through with it. Then you gotta I tell mean, Mark what happens so, at the end. Yeah. So you want you want me to you want to <laughs> Pick it up, because I, I, I remember the story. No. Oh, go ahead. No, because you're, you're going to tell it poorly. You're a good storyteller. I, I, you I'm, did a good job. <laughs> but you're just amazed at how stupid they are. I, I can't believe any of this. Okay? I, unfortunately, so, it's so, not the first time this but, has happened in the history so, of criminality. I, I, but, I'm but, thinking the same here, thing, Ted. Let's step back one second. Stupid people do stupid things. You're, you're, Win stupid prizes. You're a guy who's bought all no, of this stuff. No, I would stuff. never do this. But hold on. Just You're right. a guy who bought all this stuff, and now you are planning on killing this girl because you think she's going to kill you. And you go to your girlfriend and yeah. you say, I need a ride. 
to go kill this woman, her husband and her kids, and then your girlfriend just says yes. Stupid sure. is stupid is as stupid does. Yeah. It wouldn't does that throw end. you off, but wouldn't that that would make me like that'd be like here. Like, why is she okay with this? Right, exactly. So I say I, I say to my girlfriend, <laughs> I say to my girlfriend, listen, um, I need a ride. Yeah, I'm going to go murder 11 people. Well, she's the one that told me to do it. Only half of them are kids, so it's cool. Well, though, he doesn't know that she did. It was a fake account. Right. I thought she went to them and said... She set up a fake I understand social that media part. Account. He doesn't know she's involved. But didn't he go to her and say, this is what's happening? He did. And then she told him that he needs to go murder her. No, no, before... no, 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 no. Well, who told him that? So this is all online. Everything that he's getting, yeah. he believes... Is from a Mexican Bulgarian drug cartel. Oh, even the, that his girlfriend did. Even the email that says you need to kill her before yep, they everything. kill you. Yep, all that stuff. He thinks. And then is he c- went to his fiance and told her what's happening. Right, and she already knew, obviously, because she's in charge yeah. of all of it. Yeah, she's, and he's and, like, "I need a ride," and she's like, "Okay." Yeah, <laughs> but why would she refuse the ride if, if she were going to murder people? Well, because he doesn't know that she's involved. I know, but yeah. he already told her what he's going to do. Right, but and she's he, like, "That's cool with me." <laughs> Right, right. Who says that? Because that's what she wants to happen. But why would she be? That's but how why is that not a red he, flag? Yeah, why doesn't he? Baby, here, I want you to think about this. She's probably thinking he's going to do it anyway. What the fuck? Might as well give so him a I ride. Might as well I might as well make it easier. I mean, this is happening, and I, I can make <laughs> sure it happens. It sounds like you're going to P. Diddy's house for a party. I, to me, it makes perfect sense when you think about how stupid the two of them are. Right when you when you put the intelligence level in there, yes. I mean, why wouldn't she give him a ride? She gonna make him take the bus? <laughs> <laughs> She's probably thinking this this son bitch is too stupid to make it home on the bus. I want to or make it there on the bus. This asshole get on the yeah. wrong bus. Yeah, I want to. This way, I. She's probably thinking this is working out even better than I thought. Before I was having doubts that he can make it there. Now I can make sure he gets there. Oh my God! That you know what? Well, well, obviously, once you're dumb enough to be convinced that you have to commit at least a quadruple <laughs> homicide, I think getting a ride to the murder scene is the least is the least of your worries right. at that point. Yeah, you're probably course, just like, oh, that's so awesome you're, you're that already she con- said yes. You're already she convinced really in your own me. mind that these people need to die. For obviously that's something's completely fictitious. So this guy's obviously two thirds to a full, oh you know, whatever. You know. So. Oh God! You know, you know what the saddest part about this is? is I this just horrible. said that. No, this is a horrible story. Yeah, but it's not funny. So, it's not. It's no. So this is a terrible story because yeah. the guy goes. And well, he, it's a terrible story because of the way you're telling it. No, no, no. It's it's no, a terrible no, story a, because he I'm goes. Kidding. He goes I'm to this woman's house. Joke. I understand. And, and, and he yeah. he kills I her. I know. He kills it's her. It's a real cry. It's a, it, this really happened. And the two yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah, last year. This is last yes, year. I know. Yeah. And uh, so can I, right can, I can I finish the, the rest? Okay. Okay. So the rest is these two geniuses get questioned by the police almost immediately. Obviously, there's not enough evidence to charge them with anything. I guess a year later. Wait, 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 all... Why do you say obviously? No, well, they would I, have I arrested think... him. They would have arrested him. No, no, right no I think the cops knew immediately it was them. Well, they suspected him, but they couldn't prove it, so they can't. They couldn't arrest him. So what happened was within, because this happened last year actually, and so I think within a year they did gather enough evidence, license plate readers. This happened, you know, number one, this happened at like three in the morning, and I'm thinking if you have a, he used a handgun, obviously, wouldn't that make the loudest noise in the neighborhood? I mean, it's it's dead of night, and you just you're firing multiple rounds in a house. I mean, how how could their neighbors not hear that? I'm, I'm guessing he doesn't have like a silencer on the most gun. Most of us sleep. Yeah, but through, I mean, like, you know, multiple gunshots. Anyway, long story long story short, long story short. So <laughs> these two geniuses know they're going to get caught, so they flee the state, okay, because that's what, that's what innocent people do. They end up <laughs> in some small town in Oklahoma. This is the this is, this is the best part, right? This is going to get good, and I'll, I'll give you the, the Cliff Notes version. So they get spotted by the local police. So, of course, instead of giving up, they get in their car, high-speed pursuit. They're cornered. I guess they crash the car. Guy... Kills the fiance, shoots the fiance, then shoots himself. Happy ending. Darwin wins. All is well with the world. Yeah, that's it. I mean, except for those poor people who were, you know, killed for no good reason, you know. So, but those two geniuses. So yeah. And Matt's blown away by what part of it? All of it? Are you Are you kidding me? Because it's real and it just happens so close to us, like. Yeah, yeah. Romeoville is like not that far away. And oh, I, that and happened was, in Ill- Romeoville, Illinois. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And these people from and I, I guess yeah. they're working. The guy worked in Glendale Heights, and yeah. So I'm just saying. So so no. so basically, they got what they deserve. None of that is why I'm blown away. You're absolutely dead wrong. Yeah, but just the motive is so ridiculous. The but when you think about of again, it? yeah, none of that is why I'm blown away. Mexico and Bulgaria. <laughs> See, that's what I'm getting at. I think that okay. I, to me, that's the okay. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me. She so, might be a listener to the show because we fucked that up. 
last year we yeah. had this whole thing. Yeah. Remember? And I actually know a guy that is from Bolivia. And I and you messed it up. I, when he's telling me that he's going to send this, he, he bought a, a brand new BMW that he's going to send to his dad. It's a diesel. And they don't have diesels out there. Some, I don't know. He's going to send it to his dad in, in Bolivia. I'm like, why don't you just drive it there? It'll be a fun road trip. And he's like, because I'm thinking Bulgaria, right? No, you're thinking Bolivia. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Bolivia. <laughs> Bulgaria, I got it. I got it messed up again. Can't drive so so, so Bulgaria so, is in Eastern Europe. So I, Mark, like, how many people? We know that, Mark. <laughs> Mark, so that's why it's funny. So I'm telling him, Mark, like, how many people have you killed? I'm like, why don't we? Why don't you just drive it to Bolivia? It, 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 it and he, he's like, I, no, I, I didn't say Bolivia. <laughs> I said, why don't you just drive it? He's saying to Bulgaria, to to, to Bulgaria. How am I going to drive to Bulgaria? I'm like, dude, you just you go through Mexico. He's like. <laughs> You thought you were thinking of Bolivia. Um, right. I was thinking of yeah. Bolivia. This was fucking hilarious. So Cal my, my, he's my friend. I mean, Cal's like looking at me like I'm nuts. And he's like, you're kidding, right? I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? He's like, Mark, I'm from Bulgaria. I'm Eastern European. Look at me. He's like, you're thinking of Bolivia it's in South, South America. America. I'm like, oh, my God, you're right. Because <laughs> oh I kept thinking, I'm like, why is your dad live in Bolivia? I'm like, that's weird. He's like, I'm from Bulgaria. I'm okay, like, so okay. you know what? Based on that, it doesn't make that guy as stupid. Now, now I think I probably would have fallen for that too. <laughs> yeah, I would have. Yeah, I, I did. I Bulgaria. I oh yeah, down down there in South America. Yeah, all those people are terrible. I yeah. thought falling for the pig butchering scam was bad. This guy really was a sucker. Jeez, when, when... remind me to email Matt tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, I, I listen. Dear I, Matt, <laughs> I had to look up where Bulgaria was that's just to make sure funny. I knew. That's pretty just funny. so I knew because yeah, I, I thought it's... I thought Mexico, Bulgaria. I'm like, that is not what I'm thinking of. Why? Why would there be a drug cartel? But okay, all right. Now it, it makes sense. Now she, she I, I realized she would have said Chile, Venezuela, Bolivia, Uruguay. That makes more sense. You know what the Throw scary? Some Mexican El Salvador. You know what the scariest part about this is? Is that this had to be? I mean, she had to put a lot of time and effort into this. Right, I mean, she made fake, fake Facebook accounts, a lot of social yeah. media. Accounts. I mean, obviously, she went as far as it I mean, takes ten minutes. Yeah, but I'm saying just the level I of thought. So. I mean, but the what level of thought that goes so. into it. It had to be. I mean, there had to be a lot to this. She had to plan it out, though. I, I, yeah, just but, send but, an email. But but think how improbable it is because I mean, n- n- forget her creating all this stuff. He has to actually believe it. That's the more yeah yeah. Th- I mean, so so if I you know, so you have a fiance and she does the same thing, no reasonable person. Is going to believe this stupid shit. Well, this guy did, unfortunately. So well, he's not reasonable. But the, but the good news is they know they they're no longer with us, and we don't have to worry about the expense of a trial and extraditing him back to Illinois. Where they that. can plead not guilty. There's like ten movies. No more three There's... hots in a cot. Yeah. So yeah. No. Yeah. Well, the thing the, it'll be on A and E one of these days. The right? funniest thing about it was is is if you made a movie about this, it would be just too unbelievable and stupid. Yeah. There are movies like that that play that that play somebody against to, to get what they want. To yeah, commit but, a crime. But I mean. That seems. I, I I don't care what you say. It seems very difficult. It's like throw to mama do all from that. the train. Wasn't it the premise of throw mama from the train? But why not just? <laughs> but here's the thing. I don't understand. Look, no matter how mad she is, just dump the fucking guy. I mean, because now she's dead. I mean, all this planning and all this silliness and all the ridiculousness. And and why do you? Why do, I mean, to kill but Matt. These weren't. It's the, not to the, kill the stupid the chick. As a stupid does. These were stupid people. That did right. But she thing. didn't say. She didn't say. Here's the this this part that really freaks me out is that she didn't say you got to kill this woman she made him tricked him i guess the whole into family, killing yeah. the entire family like that that part is that part is too much as for me as if children deserve to be killed for that i mean it's horrible well if they were part of a bulgarian drug cartel right. i mean those kids were probably mules back and forth yeah. i'm i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to say what ted's thinking i assume there might have been some drugs involved ted possibly they might they may have indulged in a little bit of the uh, wacky the wacky tobacco okay. or i don't know well obviously you know, they're, maybe they're not rational thinking more. i don't know they're well obviously fucking... they're they're obviously mental midgets and they're probably impaired by god knows what type of yeah, substances that's what I'm on saying. top I mean, of it no, so, i mean no yeah. sober person can make a, i mean yeah. they're not rational to begin with i'm just I, i'm just nervous now about what i can i mean i'm not going to believe anything ever again okay <laughs> yeah so don't tell me any stories i don't believe them Mark, well, you don't believe anything that you don't that doesn't come out of your mouth anyway. I don't. No. I don't. I don't believe in anything. I really don't. <laughs> I, I, Unless I, it comes well, out of your mouth, because it's not we, we, we've been doing the show what 141 shows and all this stupid shit that I I see that I that I bring up and it just blows my mind 
every fucking time. When you go to the final wrap up, I'm going to tell you what I don't believe in. Okay, oh, let's go. Okay. All right, here we go. Ted, last thoughts. What don't you believe in? I don't believe. That <laughs> I believe. I don't believe. I believe that P. Diddy's mom doesn't believe P. Diddy did those things. And even if it is on video, it's probably AI deep fake. So I'm on P. Diddy mom's, Diddy's mom's side. So wait, just, you, beca- just because he bought her a $10 million house, I'm sure that has nothing to do with impairing her judgment. <laughs> so wait, so you believe. I believe that she, she believes. Honestly. I believe that thinks. she believes. <laughs> so so you honestly think that she thinks he didn't do these I things. believe that she believes she's hoping <laughs> half the shit that he did isn't on video. <laughs> <laughs> there's the, no chance she the believes other, that. And the other half, you could pay, pay off the witnesses. That's what I believe. Okay, so. There's no chance. She, she's actually more, probably more worried about making sure she can keep the money that he gave yeah. her. And he's only going to get five to ten after a plea deal. Man, more he, like fifteen. I mean, to 20. he could end up with. He could end up. I mean, if there's enough people involved, he could end up Epstein. Look, look, look it's over. Look, he, he yeah, he couldn't have done this. He couldn't have been busted at the worst time because now sex trafficking or human trafficking on and on all things are yeah. like, yeah, I mean, that's the yeah. biggest. Really in the forefront. Now, yeah, that's on the forefront. If exactly. they find P. Diddy in his little cell with the video camera turned off, even though he's on 24-hour suicide watch, then that's going to be a topic for another episode. But until then, I'll hold my still, judgment. <laughs> still, can't, still can't believe that, that anyone's buying the fact that the camera's just turned off and Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> fell, fell down with a rope around. Who, 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 was, who was in charge of everything when that happened? That, that guy's got a race. Who was, in, who, who was in charge of everything? I have no idea. What do you mean? The government. Well, I mean, it was a federal prison. So Joe Biden had... No, Trump was in office. So Trump murdered Epstein. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying who was in charge when all that happened. Trump was president. Trump handpicked the federal, you know, I mean, the, the attorney general. They handpicked the person, the actual person that's in that running that, that federal prison. But you know his... Was, was, a, was, a, was a picked person after But his elections. roommate was, um, I believe he was uh, in a Mexican-Bulgarian drug cartel. Yes. He didn't have a roommate. <laughs> his he roommate. Did, he didn't have a roommate? Who, Epstein? Yeah. No. Oh, I I don't know how prisons work. <laughs> Hopefully, well, I'm not going to one. I think it's called a cellmate. Too. There are no roommates. All right, Jackie, <laughs> yeah, last roommate. thoughts. Well, we, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Jackie. What what don't you believe? Wait, <laughs> I do believe that this would be a good ending for Marks and Jesse Smollett movie, where the Mexican Bulgarian one, one of one of, the, one of the endings could be a Mexican Bulgarian twist. You know, cartel twist to it. That would be. <laughs> Some ties. We that get the way we get together. That, that would be Smollett. one of them. Like that the would be two one guys. Of them. The two guys weren't, you know, brothers from Africa. They were Part cartel of members. They were Mexican Bulgarian, Bulgarian cartel. cartel members. Yeah. Oh my god! And then, then, then at the end they go, "Let's go back to Bolivia." He and goes, they... "We're not from Bolivia. <laughs> we're from Bulgaria, dumbass." Let's get in the car and just drive home. <laughs> <laughs> and they forced Jesse Smollett to do the things that he did because yeah. he thought. You know. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I got an email, man. Yeah, from the cartel. <laughs> Which one? The Mexican Bulgarian <laughs> cartel, man. Oh, All right, wow. my final thought, Jesse. Give me a call. Yeah, <laughs> I think he should. Give We're gonna make you. Yeah, because I mean, if he even if he stays out of jail, you can make money off of this, <sighs> dude. It's just it's a no brainer for him. It is. It I, really I think is. this. I would watch this in a heartbeat. I would. I would probably, yeah. I would probably at, at watch this it point, over and at, over and over at, again. At this point, you, you, there's no pride to swallow. You got no fucking backbone. <laughs> right. There's nothing. There's nothing. I mean, there's nothing below you at this point. No, there, there's there's no one on the planet except that one guy. You got nothing. Who to got lose. tricked by his girlfriend. <laughs> right. Yeah, there's nobody who believes you. There's nobody who believes you except P Diddy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, a, and a dead guy. And that guy. Might, yeah. as well make, might as well make some money off of it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think oh, it's a man. genius idea. Yeah, no yeah. one's going to think less of you. <laughs> uh, true. It's impossible, yeah. and, and no one's ever going to think. Actually, it might be the one thing that makes people actually respect him. Yeah, right. Because you made fun of yourself. You made fun of yourself. Yeah. It, he, actually, he is human after all. Yeah. And then you showed the you showed how dangerous the Mexican Bul- Bulgarian. I almost said Bolivia. <laughs> Mexican Bulgarian drug cartels really are. All right, listen, um, Jackie, it was great to have you on again. Thanks yeah. for having me. Oh, man, it's a blast. Oh, wow. Dude, if you're, lis- if you're listening to this, I-, I hope you listen in two or th- Oh, it's two hours long. So do like I do. Watch about, listen to about 30 minutes a day, and then just, just turn it off, turn it back on, turn it off, turn it back on. Um, we got some really cool guests coming up. I don't want to give anything away. Um, a lot of fun stuff. Stephen and, King. Uh, oh, man. I'm f- if we had Stephen oh, King, if we had cool. Stephen, oh man, if we had Stephen King on, you guys would not be here. Be me and Stephen King. Yeah, I wouldn't even wait. I wouldn't even let I graduated you graduated with a Stephen King. Yeah, I wouldn't even let you, <laughs> Can you get, get him in on? my way. 
I could get Steve on. Yeah, you guys are lucky you were here for Scott Sigler. Honestly, it, it could have just been me and him. You yeah. wanted them all to yourself, huh? You, yeah. gre- you greedy little pig. Yeah, it was it was almost it was almost pants off too, man. I was I mean, yeah. You guys are you guys were lucky you were here for that one. Um, keep listening, enjoy us, hit us up on social media, and uh, we will see everybody next week.